Yo, what's poppin'? We're back. Lost in Talks Podcast 2020 Vision. We're back in this shit. I'm here. Jamile. We got Kevin in the building. We got Ian in the building. We got Zach in the building. We're here. We got rings in the building. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Where was the other rings? <laughs> It's not. This I mean, is like a championship ring. Yeah. I thought this was a WWE ring. It is. <laughs> oh, it is. Okay, yeah. perfect. Heavyweight champion. Welcome, sick, to the Lost and Talks podcast. I don't know what the hell. The most <laughs> lit podcast. I, t- I don't know. I thought you had. <laughs> I thought you had. <laughs> yo, off the pod, you're like, yo, I got this. Yeah, I had one, and I'm like, it's kind of whack still. <laughs> Why didn't you say it? Cause it's whack. <laughs> Just say it. Nah. Uh, of the of the decade, like of the new decade. Of the new decade. Um, I was gonna say most in 2020. 2020, 2020. Yeah. 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 twenty twenty. Twenty in the twenty. The most lit podcast in twenty twenty. We starting the year off strong, motherfuckers. Yeah. That's not lame. That's fine. It's a little whack. <laughs> okay. I wish I could have said it, you know, more sexy yeah. or something, but. I didn't have anything in the moment. So I didn't. I. I. Sorry. I didn't realize you guys were talking about Justin Bieber. Oh my fucking. God. That's hilarious. Not hilarious. What the he, fuck? No, no, no. Not not that he has it. That I thought you guys were talking about. Like, dude, you knew name Justin. And so you that's think why it's funny. No. That Justin Bieber has Lyme disease. Oh, no, man. I don't. No, not at all. But that's kind of. He's got chronic mono as well. That's yeah. kind of sad. Oh shit. He can't even like share a glass with anybody. Jeez. Chronic. His girl probably has it. What's too. chronic? That goes away though. But Lyme disease doesn't. Right? No. It's not cured. Mono doesn't go away no, either. Mono doesn't go away. I thought it was a one time kind of. No, thing. mono it's one is of those an infection that, you, that goes you away. Get, you can get it one time and you're blessed. Yeah. But it's, it's still it sticks in your with you. Uh. It's, like, it's her Oh. Piece. Right. Every time you get sick, but it doesn't. It comes back. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. It doesn't come back though. Well, we'll get a doctor on the program soon. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty well, sure. We had Sam Preeth. He's like a doctor. Sam Preeth, you let us know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, uh, yeah, yo, Justin's dying. Yeah. That's, that's sad. I mean, I don't think it, I don't know much. Lyme what do you disease, mean you don't I, think? I don't think it kills you. Like, he's rich, he'll live. No, Lyme disease makes you feel like you're dying, though. Yeah. From what I've heard from the documentaries that we've seen, shout out Katie Gogo, Zach Shriver, TikTok. How did this guy catch Lyme? Did he catch it in Canada? <laughs> Probably. probably, probably. This guy was chilling in the woods, and he got. But then again, it. nah, he's probably where is he? Like Calabasas. Or mm-hmm. He lives in chilling with Kanye. He lives something. in Cambridge. Correct. Is it Cambridge? Uh, something like that. Yeah, around that area. With what's his? What's her name? Um, Haley Bieber. Oh. Sh- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my bad. It's Haley yeah. Bieber. <laughs> Baldwin. I was gonna say. Whatever. Haley Bieber. Yeah. Uh, I don't know Haley why we're Bieber. Jeez. That's her name. That this. That's genuinely her name. Oh, it is her name. Haley yeah. Bieber. I know it's just weird because I just. It's, I'm not she's used still to a Baldwin, but like. I'm only used I've to s- one Bieber. You know. I've switched over. That's her name. Look at this guy making the transition in life. I thought his his he uh, he's on a comeback. His, his album's gonna be coming out soon. Um, you guys listen to that yummy? It's okay. It's like it's a it's clearly just a radio type of song that What's he put it? out. To, it's he's a radio guy. It's of course, not my favorite song. But did you guys see the the visualizer for it? Like the little image for it? No, no. I saw the music video. The but. music video I didn't watch either because I didn't care for that much for the song. But I saw mm. the visualizer, which is literally just like some ice cream being poured. Very hypnotizing. Really? Very. Hypnotizing. It's on on. There's a visualizer on Spotify. On the I saw this on the tube. Oh, it's a YouTube video. Yeah. That's what they're starting to do. Uh, Those visualizers are cool. They're on Spotify and I guess YouTube as a video. Enough with uh, Justin Bieber and his line. Yeah, no. uh, I hope he can battle that and still do what he needs to do. Damn. So. What a strong man. That's damn. All righty. (laughs) Anyway. It's 2020. Shit. It's 2020. 2020 vision. How do you feel, Ian? What's popping, bro? Doing good. Every time I say or hear 2020, it's like, sounds like, I don't know. It sounds like the future to me. It's like, shit. 2020. But I know nothing's really changed, but it just sounds futuristic. Yeah. Like it sounds, yeah. If if you look at like Back to the Future, the movie and where they were, what they were thinking at that time. And that was like 2014. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wasn't that around this time? I think so. Something Maybe like that. Was that was the 2000s. Was it? Like, yeah. Probably like yeah. mid 2000s. I don't know what yeah, it was. Yeah. Disappointing the cartoons. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at those old movies and shows like from 80s and you know older, they always thought we were going to be so advanced. And I mean, we're not. We are, but we're not at the same time. 
depends yeah, on where you live in this weird like we're in area. this part where it's like yes there's areas of the world that are pretty advanced and then then there's areas of the world that are not at all <laughs> like did you guys so, see the fucking the singapore countdown mm, the new year's count this no. is the most i've ever been involved with tv so it okay just break so they had fucking drones they had fucking like i can't remember how many drones they had but the drones were doing the countdown with like different lights on them mm. holy shit wild. Really? Singap- and Singapore is up there, you know. Singapore is there doing their thing. Yeah. True. They yeah. got the, 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 the whole condos that are like half plants. And half plants? Like what do you mean? A, like a living condo. So you know how some places have like a, a green roof, if you will? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, this, they have places that are actually fully just trees. Like your, oh. your apartment has like trees and shit attached to it. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's very interesting. Yeah, their architecture is totally different than here terms of it's more advanced what kind of point was that <laughs> no no it's just like no it's just interesting like it's different <laughs> it's different it's like better what'd you say over the break bro what was i doing the streets uh, were looking for you bro. <laughs> were they yeah man everybody's <laughs> saying they need a new pod i need to hear ian i need to that's hear true. kevin that's true yeah i, I mean we took boys. a little break it's been about two weeks since the last episode came out um i've just been relaxing kind of just recharging preparing for this year and trying to go harder this year so that's what i was kind of resting and for and getting my mindset in place i seen you on a horse i was on a horse yeah i got rode a horse that was uh aside from maybe being on a pony when i was a child yeah that was the first time on a horse there were also ponies there too that was cool yeah uh I thought you were with donkeys at first. There were donkeys there. Oh. Okay. So I was at my girlfriend's sister's like ranch. Uh, she ranch. Doesn't, she doesn't own it. It's uh, like this farmer lodges her horses and she has like three horses. Um, and then, yeah, there were <laughs> there were a few donkeys and uh, miniature horses, ponies there. What was, so, the, what was the, the horse life like? The horse were life? Were you trotting around? Were you... Uh, I just went up. Okay, well, it was a pain in the ass to get on. There's a video of me failing, which is hilarious. That. <laughs> TikTok, might might be on TikTok. TikTok, TikTok yeah. Might be that, on the yeah. screen. Oh shit! Yeah, actually, you know, what? you're right, Kevin. Yeah. Oh TikTok shit! Does TikTok need does need that. <laughs> and then you got to run the little, you got to run the 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 little Nas. And even like the 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 real audio on there is hilarious. Oh well, I could put music. Even just like my girlfriend's laughing it is so terrible. It's like, could you could take that as a sound bite? Like, mm. it's hilarious. But yeah, no, it was cool. Um, yeah, I was on a horse for the first time. It's kind of scary, It's but once you're on there, it's kind of cool. Like, it's beautiful. I didn't go, in, I just went around a circle real quick. Horse was actually cheese that I was on it. Mm. So I felt like I should probably get off soon. How was the, uh, the birthday, yo? My birthday, my birthday was chill. I mean, I just went out for dinner and then just chilled inside. I didn't go out or anything. Jeez, man, you can't make this sound exciting. <laughs> no, like nothing crazy, nothing crazy happened, really. Shit, yeah. No, I wanted just a chill, relaxing birthday. I didn't want to, like, you know, people go out and go hard on their birthday week, even, you know? Mm. Eh, I don't care. the thoughts, though. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, those are, like, I'm not even one of those people that's going to tell you it's my birthday. Like, I don't even care. Whoever... Loki, I almost forgot. I think you... Yeah, you almost did. And I, I was, was just like, chilling the whole I was like, day. I was like, hmm, whatever. If he doesn't say it, I don't really care too much. Oh, shit, he's going to be affected. Eh? <laughs> I don't remember if I did. <laughs> I did yeah, probably not. Yeah. Uh, it's not a big deal. Don't worry. Um, no, I was chilling that whole Again, like I don't day. tell... And then I was like, oh, fuck, it's Ian's like, birthday I don't, at like 10 or like 11 o'clock. At like night. I don't care if like uh, the way you found out was Facebook. That's okay. <laughs> I do that all the time. Shit, yeah. <laughs> this guy trying to be transparent yeah i like that a lot of people are that's the new you yeah new year yeah i don't make a big deal out of my birthday like some people do and that's fine if that's 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 you that's you Shit. that's cool the real ass motherfucker what about you kevin what, what, <laughs> what were the holidays like yo what'd you say yeah pretty chill just uh got to see the nephews and then it was pretty short i don't know it felt really short huh i feel you two weeks I don't know. I think it's because the I guess where Christmas was is like in the middle of the week, so it's like the beginnings and the ends of the week don't feel they just it all feels like the same thing. So yeah, just too yeah, just kind of like really pass by really fast. But it's yeah. one of those ones where you kind of forget the days. Yeah, yeah. And I've already forgotten the days, but I forgot them even more. Yeah, exactly. Know? Yeah. To the point where I wasn't too sure if I had work some days. Yeah. I was like, shit. Well, if they call me, then I'll just go. With yeah. It, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> shit, yo. That's what you guys are saying, yo? Yeah. 
How about you? Same. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't do shit really. I honestly, yeah, I, just, like, I literally, I just chilled and chilled and chilled and slept and just chilled some more. Yeah. Um, I think, and literally, I think like, that's the that's best it. thing you can do with that, that time, really. That's like, what I, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, yeah. you work really hard and then, you know, when you have that time down, I just want to like relax and yeah. kind of set your mind straight again and be ready no, I, I, for your new I, uh, year, you know? It was good though. It was a good time just to chill, do nothing. I was at work a couple of times, but like other than that, it, that's all it was. And then, I don't know, I found myself getting like very excited mm. just to get back into things. You yeah. know, I feel like it that's was good. the right amount of time, even though it felt short. Yeah. It was just, it was just the right amount of time. Maybe I could do a couple more days. Like maybe if we had until like the end of this week, I'd be mm. like, all right, it's mm-hmm. perfect. It's in the right amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, no, yeah, it was a good amount of time. I just, yeah, I literally just chilled. I didn't do shit really. Mm. Um, I went to fucking Wonderland. Uh, nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And like, I and, oh, and I went to Medieval Times for the first time. I saw oh, that sick. as well. I was like, oh, you, are you actually there? Did you go with your cousins or something? Me, like, me and my girl, we uh, oh. we split the price. Oh, you guys are and we okay. took like my family. Nice for Christmas. There, I haven't been there since a the little kid. Um, it's cool. I never went as a little kid. Oh yeah, it's usually when you would go as a little kid. Yeah, I, I never can't see they're going there I as an adult to be honest, but. It was still good. I was yeah. I was in it, you know. I was having my fun. Like mm. I was like, I spent this money. Like I might as well kind of yeah. pricey, I think. yell at some white folks. Yeah. And tell them was there beer there? Oh uh, yeah. Mm. Okay, so I guess you yeah. could go there as an adult. I wasn't. <laughs> no, yeah, no, yo, the people in front of us, drunk, fucking yeah. wasted. Really? These guys had a fucking bird flying around the fucking place, and this guy's trying to fucking grab the bird at the sky. <laughs> The like two of the staff have to come over and tell them to chill. They're like, bro, like, can you calm the fuck down? It's like a fucking hawk. So he's trying to grab the hawk. It was like a fucking hawk just flying around the place. Yeah. It probably wasn't a hawk. Probably a little smaller, but. Yeah. I'd be down to do like an edibles or something and go to me a little time. Yo, that that'd sounds be like, wild. That sounds like a night. Oh, yeah. yeah. That'd be a time, though. It does sound like. I'd yeah. be fucking dead. But I'm there's, <laughs> they're eating with my hands and shit. Yeah, yeah. It was a good time. It was just like. I wish the food was seasoned. Yeah. <laughs> like, you didn't need to be that authentic. You know, like. Yeah, like, can we just... <laughs> what, 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 what do you eat pepper? there? What do you eat there? They don't have, like, regular shit like pizza and stuff? What Bro, you, we're eating, like, we're kids. Like, like, eat, like, eat, like, a mutton They stick? give you, like, a chicken. They give you a whole, like, they give you yeah. a chicken and, and you, you gotta eat, eat it with your, your hands. hands. There's no... Like, there's, there's no... no dude, I didn't realize they took it that far. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember yeah. it at all. They give you a potato and it's, like, it's literally, like, the potatoes that you would have gotten in Ireland back in the day. I think I went there once and it was, like, for... When I was a kid, it was Those like men who were just eating, like, like oh, you know, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, oh, like, yeah. That's what it was, like half potatoes. Do they have normal food piece, there? Like, like bacon. Do they have normal food there? No. <laughs> you mean I can't get The most beer? normal thing was a Canadian. <laughs> like beer? Yeah. Oh. You mean they don't have, I like, have some keats. They don't have like old ass wheat beer or some shit or nah, bro. moonshine or some shit. Nah. <laughs> like, I don't know what they drink, but. But it was, uh, it was a good time though. Like, yeah, I just wish there was some more seasoning. Just, uh, like yeah. you didn't have to go all the way with yeah. this. Like let's keep it in. Re- it was just you know, like plain ass chicken. Like it was just a plain chicken. Oh, that's weird. You know what I mean? Yeah. It was good either way because I was hungry. Well, you're not paying yeah. a lot for that. Like, this is fucking weird. Oh yeah, we didn't have to pay that much because we found a group on luckily. So oh, okay, uh, we were blessed. Okay. Um, but yeah, what did I, what else did I do? I did that. I just and I just chilled. Yeah. Mm. Not much other other than that really. Um, but yes, we at the Lost and Talks podcast. Hope you guys had a beautiful holiday with mm-hmm. your families, loved ones, and everything in between and above and below. Mm-hmm. It's good. What are we talking about today, Ian? Um, <laughs> partially what we were supposed to talk about last episode, um, but we, we kind of went into it last episode. But I mean, like for, for the new year, like what, what are you guys saying in the new year in terms of uh, like, what are you guys trying to accomplish, either personal or... Or business wise, or whatever you're trying to do. Um, <clears throat> None me? of this New Year's resolution shit. It is kind of like that, but like, like re- legit. Like I get what you mean. What we do because people, like, I'm gonna lose weight. Like cool. That is always a good goal, but like half the people never stick to that. To be shit. honest with you, I still like, there's a lot of things that I feel like I still need to plan out and figure out because a lot of it is just a lot of planning. Mm-hmm. Um, because you get to a point where. You've accomplished some things. You've seen what you can do if you do plan properly-ish. Mm. So now I'm at a point where, cool, planning works for me. Mm. So I would like to just plan some other things out. So like for us business-wise, we have a lot going on this year, which is great to we say. And we've narrowed it. I like how we've narrowed it down to a few <clears throat> things. Yeah, that we want to focus and on. And like I can count the amount of things we're focusing on with our hand, which mm-hmm. is good. 
before I felt like there was like too much happening. Yeah. Now it's kind of, we know where our, our best interest is and yeah. we're going to focus on that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So like focusing <laughs> on those things, I want to, I want to make sure that us as a company, we like sit down yep. um, and we figure out, okay, these are the things we want to do this year. Um, this is how it's going to help us grow. Uh, these are the people that we have right now. These are the people that we need to get in contact with or the people that we need to reach, reach out to, blah, 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 blah. These are people we can work with. Um, but yeah, everything seems to be falling into place slowly. Uh, it's a lot of stuff that has just carried from last year. So we have like, you know, R and Beyond Cut stuff going on. Yes. Uh, YouTube podcast, obviously. Yeah. Um, and some of the things that we have planned uh, mm-hmm. to figure out. Our own personal projects or putting into place. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, what else for me personally, I'd like to again, work on that project that we talked about. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to say it, but yeah, yeah, we can't say it now. We're not going to say it. Really. Um, it's too early. Yeah. Work on that project. I talked to you about with the boy, with the boy, Kevin Park, shots out Kevin Park. <clears throat> um, and then also the usual shit for me, you know, trying to get out of my fucking jobs, trying to rack up as much money as possible. My holiday money is already running out. <laughs> Because I have to spend it on people. I spent that too, yeah. And then, um, yeah, I should be broke. I should be broke again probably this week, next week. (laughs) (laughs) Jeez. (laughs) This week, next week. Just because it's like, what happens is I have the holidays, right? So I pay for, I like, I make some food for my family. So I'm making food in bulk. So I spend a bunch of money at the grocery store there for uh, Christmas. That's nice. And then I have New Year's. New Year's, I didn't have to spend too much money at all. I was literally at work. And then after work, I just went home because I got home so fucking late. Um, and then my girl's birthday is right yeah. after that. Mm-hmm. So I had to spend some money on that. And then I'm also buying her last gift. I'm getting her some Louis. She, oh, shit. You know? So you're, you're trying to spend money. Yeah, I'm trying to spend the money. Nice. I've, I've, <laughs> I've put myself Louis. in a situation. Yeah, she deserves it, you know? Yeah, I didn't go I Louis. I bought my girl some, some Kate Spade. Yeah, it's, not, it's not too... Not too lavish, but it's no, nice no, enough. No, that's what something. she. That's what she wanted. Ex- exactly. That's what she wanted. That's what the lady wants, and that's what she. That's what did. she wanted. You know what I mean? I mean, yeah. My girl wanted the Louis. I was like, you know what? I could do the Louis this year. You haven't got the Louis. Yeah. Okay. You haven't gotten nothing. You haven't gotten the <laughs> brand name stuff in a minute. Shit. I, I can hit you with the Louis. So I've been making some phone calls. Me and me and Vitan have been talking. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I got some stuff in the works. But um, yeah, yo, I'm just trying to be, you know, other than you know the basics, trying to be a better me. I'm just trying to, you know. Trying to really just do it, quit my jobs, hopefully, probably not. Um, and then just, you know, rack in as much money as possible, trying to get all, all you know, do my thing. Mm-hmm. Trying to do my thing, you know? Yeah. Trying to figure out who I am. I think uh, for me, uh, on topic of money, money management this year. And that, Not yes. that I've, I, I, I like to say, <laughs> I've always been decent managing my money. <laughs> but uh, this year, yeah, I want to definitely do a better job at managing my money and really, like, trickling down really saving every like just thinking about where my money's going and and think about do i need to buy this like do i really need this item that i need to buy if i don't don't spend it that's what i'm thinking so yeah. that's kind of my mindset right now like <laughs> the biggest things like food <laughs> yeah bro honestly, and that's about every part? every young person is yeah. like that right now the food shit is the hardest bro because you'll be hungry we live in and tr- you know yeah. you have food at home. Yeah. 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 It's just so easy to but just buy. But you're just buy. on the road. <laughs> you're on the road. It's just so easy to just buy something and, make, and eat it versus making it. Or or even the worst is when you're at home. Yeah. In your bed. Yeah. And you're like, I don't want to go upstairs. So I'm going to order. <laughs> yeah. And now meal. Uber Eats has made it even harder. Yeah. Because you're like, I can get McDonald's. I can get Popeye's. I can get whatever anytime. Yeah. Anywhere. That's, that's what I was going to say. I was living in Toronto. There's so many options. There's always something nearby. But I guess now Uber is even worse. I think you just yeah. order anything. <laughs> I'm just, Uber and Holy so shit. And that up. shit's not cheap anymore. Yeah, it's Never nice. was, but now it's even more money. I hate yeah, it. Exactly. All those fees and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, that's like one thing to save. Save money on food or just trying to think about just where my money's going and trying to trying to save and um, yeah. Really? And, and invest eventually. Beautiful. Well, Kevin? Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, it's just a lot of expanding on what happened last year. Yeah. When you think about it, we didn't. We did a lot, but it's like there's. I think there's a lot that needs to come out in the next year. That's like we did that we put mm. the groundwork in yeah. from last year. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. 
Mm-hmm. It's a lot, again like what I was saying. It's a lot of stuff that's just carrying over. Yeah, you know what I mean. Just moving into this year. Can I ask uh, what about <laughs> new music for you this year? I'm still I don't know yet because I didn't get that Toronto Arts Council grant, so I'm just okay. like. And then I was thinking about it because like I wasn't fully I didn't really fully want to like start a new album yet because I felt like I want to make some more tracks so. I think, yeah, I think I'm just going to make some shit for the first couple months and then see where we are from there. Cool. Hmm. Yeah. Because there's no point rushing it, you know? Yeah, there's no need. Sure. Yeah. You got you got a good, solid yeah. project put yeah. together that you could sit on for a little bit while yeah. you work That's on other true. stuff. You can sit on and it, And try yeah. to figure out what you want to do next. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. That's good, yo. I think it's more so like, uh, I, I, I think we're going to be in Nui Blanche this year. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. So. You? Yeah, me and Zampreet. What do you guys do? Oh, you can't say? <clears throat> no, we're not going to say it okay. yet, but yeah. You're doing some art installation of some sort? Okay. A Scarborough thing? Yeah, Scarborough right. thing. Don't yeah. say, but maybe after, off yeah. the pod, I'm you pretty can tell sure, us. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're going to be in it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like come on. Like, if it's something, <laughs> is yeah. it... If it's something you've might have mentioned to us in the past, no, we came up with no. the ad- oh, we okay. came up with the idea just, but we just we wanted to do it just so that it's something that we start doing, like because I think that's something that we can like, yeah, especially since the Scarborough thing's been around, like I feel like that's something we can it's really time. start to stamp, and also I mean we want to incorporate it, like we want to have a yearly thing, uh, as part of the program, okay, going mm-hmm. forward too. So like, yeah, we want to really like. There, there's these things that are just like lining up for us. It's like okay, we just need to start showing people that we are like at the top mm-hmm. of everything in Scarborough. That is, yeah, arts get wise, Canada, yeah. get your hands and everything Scarborough yeah. related for yeah. sure. Yeah, I, you 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 mentioned a uh, art installation idea, and I'm not gonna say it on the pod just in case, because, and I'm like, yo, that would be sick. Yeah. I'm not. Well, so I'll it's say not it that, but yeah. Oh, do you know what but I'm we thinking? Wanna, yeah, but we do okay. want like that is one that like I don't think we're ready for it this year. But when we get the resources for that it. one, that's gonna it's, be it's it's like some next level resources special, that yeah. we don't have access. That's to. That's good, yeah. yo. Yo, honestly, I've been missing Nui Blanche for so many years, bro. Yeah. So now at least okay, cool. I went. Man, this, get in. I went last year. Um, you get to do something. Wasn't I was my girlfriend? But that's it's always it did always actually I don't know when it started. I don't think we were ever thinking about being in it, but as We've done, the more we've done all this stuff, we re, like, it just made sense after a certain point that it felt like we would start doing, like, installations and stuff. Yeah, I know, it makes sense. And it did, it did feel like one of those things where it's like, I never felt the need to go unless somebody that I knew or one of us was That's what I'm saying. It's the same thing for me, like, OVO Fest. Yeah, exactly. I don't don't really need to go to OVO Fest unless somebody I really want to see is performing. Yeah. And there's never been that much. That's a lot of money. Or (laughs) man's performing. Yeah. (laughs) Like, yeah, yeah. Kevin's up there. Or someone just swings us access. Or, yeah, or somebody swings me access. You just you get access I mean? for free. I mean, I'll go. Yeah. No yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. But so, otherwise, a grand for it is uh, not in my best interest. On the back of the back, back to money management, you yeah. know, like. Uh. <laughs> I am, I will say. Sorry, Ovi. I am trying to take way more time off to do what I want to do, though, this year. Okay. I've been doing that a lot already, but I feel like I've done it just to take breaks and chill. Uh, uh. Um, I'd like to just take more time off. And finesse more time off so that I can go to Nui Blanche for no reason. Or, mm-hmm. You know, do other shit. Oh, yeah. Other okay. fun stuff. Okay. That's what I'm trying to do as well. Nui Blanche. I'll just quickly say Nui Blanche in 2019. I went. It was kind of, eh. I was kind of disappointed. I don't know why. I, just, <laughs> I always feel like everything's so far away mm-hmm. and from each other. I didn't feel like there was enough in the downtown core. Like, I pretty much went to uh, Nathan Phillips Square and then there's a couple things around it. And then that was like it. Yeah. Like everything else is just like I don't think you, I've ever went to. You look at the map and you're like, "Oh really? Holy shit! I have to go like across town to see yeah. this one thing." I'm like, "I don't want to do that." Like, and you can't. T- it's not like you can take an Uber. It's so crazy down there. So yeah. you're like fucked. So, yeah, for me. What happened? Anyways, last time I was at Nui Blanche was <clears throat> years ago, and literally I didn't even stay that long. Mm. I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things that everybody's turned into just a party night for the high school kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? Even I was like drinking you know yeah in the streets like i remember the high school days just going there drinking man so just what i was doing too girls yeah <laughs> yeah it was just like a lot of walking i wasn't down for it. oh no the last new blanche i went to we did uh we did that shoot with untraced that's what we did mm. and we we're gonna go to lower bay but we ended up not going but that was yeah. a good night either way it was a good t- it was a good time though uh-huh. but other than that yo yeah shit's whack Whack. <laughs>
Are you gonna bring yourself? No, this and is we part started of the now. Show. How are you gonna bring yourself? I'm editing the show now, so. <laughs> how are you gonna bring yourself into like how you get? How are people gonna get your character? You know what I mean. Mm. What are you bringing to the podcast every week to make sure that you add to it? Me, I can finesse a quick one too. That's why I do the talking quickly all the time. It's not always the best, but I know how to just keep talking if I need to keep on talking like I'm doing right now. <laughs> so how do you continue the conversation? How do I continue? I just, the way I normally do with you guys, I don't see the, what's your point? <laughs> my, my point is, this is the Lost in Talks podcast. Yeah, and I get lost in the talks. But we can't be lost in silence. That's true. And it doesn't usually happen. Not too often. It's happening now. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> what? It's silent. Okay. See what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. I'm just like, we got to figure out what we can do to make sure that we don't hit these little hiccups. Silence is completely fine on the podcast. Everybody needs a moment of silence. But how are you going to intervene in this interview, in this silence or me having to talk and continue talking to continue the podcast or to make sure the pod, the podcast progresses? Mm, I mean, that's just going to take practice, I guess. That's what I'm you saying. I mean, yeah, I mean. And that's what I want you to work on. Okay. That's all. Okay. That's what I'm trying to true, say. True, true. Because you, you have, you're, you're a young man full of potential. Mm-hmm. And I feel like we could take it to the next level now, Ian. Okay, so that, yeah, I mean. I'm not asking you to get up and twerk. You in know the new I mean? year. <laughs> <laughs> this year, that's something I want to work on for sure. Right. And then we can get into now uh, 2019. What did we want to do better this year that we didn't do last year? Okay. Kind of like what's our. It's a good start. Not goals. Yeah, we talk about goals, but like more, what did you do in 2019 that you want to do differently this year? Um, um, that's good. That's a, that's a good start. I like this. Now, a suggestion is while we talk about that, and I'm not saying only you have to do this. We all have to do this. While we talk about this, though, because this is a very good uh, subject, you think about how else can I lead this conversation? For if it does fall off, let's say we all talk about it and then that's that. Where do we take it after that? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So just keep that in mind. Okay. But can you ask your question again? I, f- I didn't forget. Oh, what, what did you do in 2019? The, what would you like to do differently this year that, that you that kind of did last year? Does that okay. make sense? Yeah, no, I feel like, <clears throat> like and that could be I, any. That could be anything. It's a very, it's a very general question. Yeah. You know what I mean? So pick something... Pick something <laughs> in some area of your life, I guess. Uh, um, there's, yeah, there's so many, there's so many different aspects and blah 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 blah. Right. I would say, um, hmm. I would like to be a bit more active, not in just a physical sense, if you will, but just um, more in my mind. If I'm going to be thinking about stuff or not doing much, I want to make sure that I'm. Whatever I'm doing is adding to my success in the future, some way, somehow. Even like the little shits, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, I want to keep myself a bit more business orientated this year. Learn something new. Um, I feel like last year I learned a few different things only because I had to. Uh, I want to just take on a different t- a challenge though for myself, though. You know what I mean? <coughs> right. Uh, that I don't know yet. Like I said, I, I still I, I still have to plan out what the fuck I want to do with my year, and whatnot. Um, but those are a couple of things right now mm-hmm. that I can think of off top, off mm-hmm. rip. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, me personally, I like to kind of work on more of uh, well, more of my communication skills with people. Mm-hmm. I want to be more connected with people and be able to. Just, uh, <laughs> what? Zach farted. <laughs> I know. I was trying to ignore that. I don't know if the mic I tried to too, but I just couldn't help with that because it was so silent. <laughs> uh, yo, if it starts to smell, I swear to God. Uh, it's going to creep into my nose. Um, 
Yeah, I, I think I'd like to kind of connect with people on business through business and personal connections and make better connections with people. I feel like sometimes I'm kind of. Uh, I don't think I'm cold per se. I can I can be perceived as cold sometimes. Uh, so I want to kind of... Uh, I wouldn't open. say cold. I would say I, I distance. Distance a little bit. I'm kind of more focused on myself and I want to kind of uh, just be kinder and connect with people better. Empathetic. Empathetic. I probably lack more empathy than the average person. And not because I'm a psychopath or anything. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna say that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Because he's gonna uh, kick our asses. Oh no, it's just the idea. <laughs> oh, well, you, know, you know how they say like CEOs. Uh, they uh, I'm not CEO, but like CEOs, they uh, lack empathy. CEO, bro. They lack empathy. I'm not. Whatever. I'm, I'm like the closest thing to one. If there was one, <laughs> I guess. Don't fucking kill me. But uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, they lack empathy and stuff. Or the psychopaths deep down inside, or you'd have to be a psychopath to be a CEO. Um, but yeah, no, just kind of more empathy, be more kind, and build better connections with people through business and personal connections and and stuff like that. And connect, be more like focus on. I think have more of a an HR type of mindset. Sure. That makes sense. HR oriented mm-hmm. business. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's kind of where I like to be this year. I'd also like to, this year, tell people, a lot more people, just what's really going on in my mind. Okay. And how I feel about them, actually. Okay. Know? Holding back what you need to hold back so you're not just Jeez. attacking a person. That is, yeah, there's definitely an approach to that. I want to be able to approach that a lot better. Okay, so you think you approach it poorly. I don't think I approached it poorly last year. I've, I've uh, made good stride. I just want to continue okay. on that road to success. <laughs> you gonna use the podcast platform <laughs> as a way to do it anonymously? That'd Not be... anonymous, anonymously. No, no. Because again, I'm just joking. People that know me know I have no problem mm. either telling you to your face or beating your ass if I have to. <laughs> there's, there's, yeah, there's definitely two ways it can go. Yeah. Um, or telling it to your face and then beating your ass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the type. I'm the type to. It, I'll tell you once or twice. If they don't reciprocate well. The third time. I'm um, gonna kick your ass. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I'm always a. Uh, or I'll go in on you. I don't think violence is necessary. But, Sometimes you know, it is. In the rare case. Some people need to get their hands put on. Some people. Well, some people <laughs> resort to violence a little, hands too, a little too quick. Sorry, some people resort, resort to violence to solve yeah, problems I, a little do too that. quick. No, and those are the people who, uh, you know, <laughs> those are people who might end up with a charge. Anyways, <laughs> I try to keep that as my last resort. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, always, always has to be you, 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 in special cases. Yes. Um, but for sure. No, definitely. What about you, Kevin, in terms of like, what have you done? If you can think of anything. Um, it's, it's hard to say, really. Yeah. It's just, you know, you know, you know, the things day to day that you want to do better. Like, I just want to yeah. have a more rigid schedule, I think. Mm. I think, uh, yeah, like last year I spent a lot of time like learning about a lot of different things. I think this year I'd want to see more application probably. Yeah. Right. Just more, yeah, more material. Yeah. 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 Oh, another thing. uh, Not that I wasn't consistent last year, but I'd like to be even more consistent this year in terms of work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I I wasn't like not consistent, but like I could definitely be better. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like more every day, like doing something productive yeah, and consistent yeah. in like my goals here. Yes. Yeah. I, I was thinking about <clears throat> taking another day off to do work. Okay. I was thinking about it, but I don't know. Like uh, taking off like your day job type of thing? Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Like changing um, my availability. So like for example, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. Mm-hmm. Okay. Straight. Like come to my house type of, type of deal? Or? Possibly. I mean, I've been talking about the third day. The third opening day. Opening up. We'll make opening a up. For sure. Yeah. I, w- I was thinking about that, yeah, for sure. I just don't know. I gotta make it happen too. Yeah, I just don't know if I could take that all <coughs> yet. You know. Yeah. Financially. Uh, not not in this for me. Not in this first quarter of the year. Yeah. But it might summertime might happen. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, summertime, maybe summer fall. I yeah. might be able to do that. Yeah. Same. Hopefully. For sure. Yeah, because I'm gonna my schedule is gonna be a lot more flexible this year. In terms of, I'm probably gonna leave my day job. Eventually, soon, yeah. sooner than later. Actually, this year I'm gonna to make it happen Woody. yeah because last year didn't happen because i was in some financial issues but uh i want to now that i'm more bounced back on that and i have more 
uh, breathing room with finances, I can do it. Yeah. So yeah, this year I can definitely do it. It was supposed to happen last year, but you know, I got a little carried away with spending on certain things. And it was funny because like the money that I spent wasn't, I might've talked about this already. The money that I spent wasn't even like stupid shit. It was actually like creating. I spent a lot of money on creating stuff. <laughs> actually mm. kind of drew me into financial issue a little bit, which is kind of funny. So but I, I guess I, and it wasn't that, the worst money spent, you know, yeah, exactly. it wasn't it's like I was just buying Gucci bad. bags and belts and yeah. fucking Yeezys, you know. No offense, people buy those. But <laughs> if you're flipping the Yeezys, then if you're flipping, yeah. But if you're spending twelve hundred on a fucking Yeezy, man, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a problem. It's a little fucked, you know. Yeah, definitely. They, like at SCC, they sell them for like fourteen hundred at that store. It's crazy. <laughs> this guy said at the store. Which store? Which one? There's a height. There's like a what's it called? I, no, it's a, it's just the logo is P. I don't know. I forgot what it's called. P. Penis. Yeah, it's literally like a supreme. They have a supreme store at SCC. Like they have Supreme so they and they have like, uh, like a bunch of Yeezys, like retro Jordans. Yeah, they're all the shoes. I've are only wrapped. walked around that mall like once in the past like years. So I can't really Holy. remember that. Oh, you don't place go at much. all. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah no, it's like a newer store. Yeah, there's literally a hype piece store. Like most, it's it's funny. It's usually empty because <laughs> no mm. one can afford shit in there in Scarborough. Mm. Like there's like you know five hundred dollar. It's like five hundred dollar <laughs> hoodies in there and shit. You know what I mean? about Scarborough, yeah? <laughs> it's realistic though. Come on. Mean, <laughs> Everybody's rocking out. Everyone's out here rocking their shit, bro. Everybody has the drip out here. I love Scarborough, but I'm just being realistic. Oh, There's a reason shit. SCC doesn't have a Gucci store. You know what I mean? Oh, fuck. What does he mean? It's just the- <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason why Yorkdale is where it is and SCC is where it is. Because they have a big mall? It just has to do with demographics. <laughs> no, it has to do with demographics. They have the space, the retail Yo, space. No, I'm just saying. Like, it's not a diss. Like, I don't know. I feel the demographic you. there is perfect. Okay. And there's nothing wrong with both demographics. Like, Do you think I care about like malls that have like expensive stores? I think half the shit in there is a waste of money. Shit. So I don't even care. <laughs> like, shit. Yeah, that's my opinion on it. I'm like becoming... I've talked about this. More anti-consumer... Lately, in the mm-hmm. last year or two, I have been. Wow. For sure. Yeah. So you guys, that's why you guys are probably seeing me with the same flannel. I've worn it probably 20 times already on the podcast. <laughs> no, there's a difference between that and just being broke. I'm not. I'm, <laughs> but I'm not like. I'm not broke. saying you're broke, I'm but not it's just broke. like you don't have the money to keep, keep buying clothes. I No, I, I mean, I could definitely afford. I could I buy mean, a shirt a week. Same. But I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> that's jokes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, you're right, yo. You're yeah. Right. What I was going to say was um, completely off topic. I just like digging into man's pasts. Okay. Like how deep? <laughs> like deep, yo. Deep. You know, there's one thing I've always wondered like about Kevin. <laughs> what? How he's pulling things. Like how he pulls things. <laughs> say <a> word. <laughs> <laughs> like I want to, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I want to see like what he's saying in the DMs. And, yeah, that's interesting. You know? Yeah. Like, what are you, what are you trying to finesse in? Like, what do you, what do you do? I mean, I'm in a relationship. Okay, now. but whatever, we get it. <laughs> what do I do? Yeah, what's the game? What is, like, what is my strategy? Yeah, to get a girl. To be fair, like, I'm Every not, can, you know, I'm not the dude. Do their thing. I'm going to be transparent. I, mean, I never was the dude to be crushing tons of things. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't like that. So just, just put out the context there. But like, if there's a but girl yeah, that you're interested when it was in, happening, how are you, how are you making sure that's yours? Um, what's like the usual strategy? Getting, what's your what's your go to bag? I'm I'm actually kind of traditional in the sense of like I usually like to date. Um, I usually like to go on like traditional ass dates. Usually, I know that kind of thing is, might be dying now because people just want to hook up. Like, what's a date now in 2020? Fucking Netflix. A blunt. A blunt Netflix. A blunt in the whip. If she does smoke weed, though, it is a really good way to get a date. If she really likes smoking I feel weed. like, yeah, if somebody smokes weed, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to set up a date because you can be like, yo, we can go, sm-, especially if you're trying to, you know, then you can uh, go to uh, your house, her house and smoke. It's like, let's smoke. <laughs> and usually she's down. You know, stoners will be down for the most part to smoke yeah. with random people if you seem chill. So that's, they're super open to that. So that, yeah, that is one way. Otherwise... Yeah. <clears throat> dating like tradi- I'm traditional dater like I'll not the movies because the movies you know sucks but something like uh, even just go out to dinner or something like that that's usually what I'll do or like kind of like a cooperative type of date like a, you know go to 
I, w- I haven't done this that much, but like go to go to rec room or something. That's cute. For example, yeah, that's like a that's like a cute date. I do like that like almost a little cliche, but like kind of cute dates. Like that's kind of what I set up. I you know, or go skating or something, or uh, if it's guy. winter, if it's winter time, or that's cute, yeah. Or uh, yeah, or karaoke or something like that. A one-two karaoke, eh? Yeah. A two is the duo. Like karaoke, or go to a restaurant that's different, like something like Korean barbecue or something like a little more interactive or something like that. Yeah, or something she hasn't tried before if she's down to try new food. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So like. Something like that. Yeah. I like like to keep it a little spicy. I mean, you know, like, I'm not just like, no offense, like, go to Moxie's. I mean, eh, I could do a little better than that. You know what what are the go-to questions on the date? How do you you learn about a a female while you're on a date with her? Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Zach's out here fucking ripping up the whole room, This man's tuning the fuck out of the podcast right now. Fucking Osmos. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking Osmos, bro. Um, (laughs) What questions am I asking? Um... Jeez, nothing too personal, okay. right? You can't get too, I don't get too personal on the first date. I don't know whether you should or not. And you guys can answer that. I don't know. But I was watching this thing um, I do. on Netflix. You get personal. Yeah, they yeah. have How's like- your family's uh, relationships? <laughs> what's it called? Like Love Explain? It's like the Explain series. I think yeah. they have one on love. So there, there's this test- I saw that series. Co- yeah, I watched it with my girlfriend. Or, or one of the one of those magazines where there's like thirty four. The, the questions. thirty four questions. Yeah, me and my girl did that like over oh, Facetime yeah. recently. Yeah, yeah. What happened? Oh. Like, the, the, I mean, over, I think you have to do it in person to make it really effective. Yeah. So over Facetime is kind of weird because there, there's more body language in person and stuff like that. Um, I mean, I sorry, like, sorry. Could you ex- just explain it quick? Sorry, yeah, my bad. Go on. Coming, yeah, coming. So yeah, it was it was one of I those. It. it was one of those uh, magazines like that like cosmopolitan or whatever yeah, it's yeah, like girl 34 questions that if you were to ask on a date you could f- find out like if you're in love if it's a match or oh, not okay. by yeah. the end of it it's like oh. you will fall in, i don't know if you will some but the, like yeah some of the questions were like uh, what's your biggest fear um well i can't remember what the other ones were yeah stuff like that uh, though you know like yeah like personal you, like they, you they go get, into like you're yeah. uh, gonna run through those right now yeah, yeah. <laughs> really yeah pull it up if you want like you you go into like you go, into, like, personal, match, yeah. <clears throat> you go into personal questions about your childhood and like uh, there's some like questions about like how comfortable you are with people. Mm. And there's like, uh, I f- yeah, I'm already blanking out on the questions, but uh, some of them, yeah, there's it's like a lot. Like you get to one part of it is you get to see, you get to learn about someone obviously right off the bat, how vulnerable they are and stuff like that. And it is a lot of personal questions. Like what are you afraid of or or like, uh, how would you want to, how do you, th- like one question was like, how do you, if you were to d- like die or whatever, how do you think you would die? Oh yeah. Right. There's like one okay, question. I have something like that here. I don't know if these are the exact same. Ones. There's like yeah. questions like that. And then at the end you, you're supposed to stare at your pr- the partner for like four minutes. Hmm. Like you're supposed to just do four Yo! minutes of eye contact at the end. Just have, like, you, have you guys ever just stared at somebody before? Like a random or someone you no, know? No, but like stared, like just for a long time. Somebody you know and just stared into their eyes for like two minutes. No. I don't think so. No, you not I should try to it. test a theory or <laughs> I'm not staring not at just, another man. Not to just test not, a theory, the- but it creates intimacy. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it creates intimacy because like if you get close to somebody's face and just look at them. <laughs> yeah, I, it makes sense. Look into their <laughs> eyes for like two minutes. Weird. You're allowed to blink. You just look into their eyes for two minutes. You could connect. <laughs> what I have done yeah. is have you ever just stared at someone in public? <laughs> Just to see how they react. Plug, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <Stare> <laughs> I heard butt plug. Like I wasn't too sure. Stare at someone in public. Oh, public. I yeah. think stare at someone's butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Wait, what? Uh, yeah, I've stared at people. Like in just as a joke to kind of see how they react. Yeah, Usually, yeah. like a not like a girl, just because they don't want to freak out a, a woman, but like. Like a dude or something. It's just kind of funny. Oh, yeah. I've, I've done that shit. And usually when I'm bored in the TTC, I'll do it. It's just like, like, that's creepy. I've done yeah. it when people are looking at me, though. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I remember one time I was, I was going to my house. I came back from Kevin's at like late where we just <laughs> finished up at like our 750 stuff. Yeah. I got home at like fucking like 5 a.m., maybe maybe like 5.30. Yeah. Um, and like this is during the summer. And this dude is just walking across the street, walking his dog. And he keeps looking at me as I'm walking to my house. And I'm like, what the fuck? So yeah. I stand at my door and I just stare at him. Yeah. And he keeps, he, he keeps walking now and looking back at me nonstop. Mm. To the point where he starts walking over to me. 
I was like, yo, am I about to fucking fight this guy? <laughs> yo, some people, I just walked in my house people, and he walked all the way up to my door, bro. What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. I don't know who the fuck he was. <coughs> I don't know what was going on. He walked I was like, to your Shit, door. He walked all the way up to my door and then he walked away. I was like, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Like you just and I haven't a, seen him since. It's like this man was putting a curse yeah. on you or something. Yeah, so I think I'm dead probably. <laughs> We'll find out. <laughs> bro, you know where I catch people staring at you while you're in the car, bro? For some reason, people want to stare at you while you're in the car. Yeah, I get that. Um, like other people in the car next to you, you pull up to a red yeah. light, and then the person next to you just fucking, like, oh, what? what are you I looking at? I want to see who's next to me. Who's pulling up, bro? Yeah, like, are it's we weird. Is it's weird. Baggie? What is it? What's going on? Yeah. Um, when, I'm in the, when I'm in the car with my girlfriend, you have, like, old weird dudes staring at her. Yeah, yeah. Through the car. Yeah, that happens team. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, mommy. <laughs> yeah. Let's get my. It's kind of because I think in the car you think you're not you're not gonna get caught or seen mm. or something, and you can do that weird what shit. What's doing in the car? I think it's just a reaction. No, just, like you don't want like some guy with a strap to pull up beside you, right? Yeah, it's, that's it's, what I'm looking around. I think that's what it comes really? down to. Yeah. I keep my head on a swivel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Consistently. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yo, Kevin, you're next, yo. What How was the question? The things, you know? uh, oh yeah, kind of. I, I could have went way more into it too. Like, no, we're so gonna much. get to these questions just now. I just oh, okay. Need to, get to Kevin, quick. How you? Yeah, I don't think there's a real formula. I think it's it's a case by case thing. I think I don't it's know. Just I don't, street swag and finesse. Yeah, I don't think there's a. I can't think of a pattern or something that I've that I've used. It's always you haven't like, hit anybody with like the same move or the nah. same shit. Kevin's I don't have a strategy. Uh, it's a slight. I have a little texting strategy, but that's about it. Like, in terms of like, mm-hmm. I, I try not to text someone who I'm new talking to. I don't try to text them too much. It just comes off as needy. So I kind of, I kind of, you know, I'll text you a, a, quite a bit one day and then the next day I won't text you at all. Or mm-hmm. I might even go two days, three days without doing it. I've done that before. And then, and then like if she, if she texts you back after those three sure, days, the math. then like, you know, she wants to talk to you. Clearly she hasn't forgotten about you. If mm-hmm. she hits you up first, mm-hmm. right. Or if she doesn't, whatever, that's fine. Then just hit her back with another text three days later. And then if she responds. Cool. Shit. And then, I mean, you already know how, and then obviously like it matters. I mean, some people are just busy, but definitely how quick she responds is a bit of a thing to keep notice for mm-hmm. sure. I mean, she responds in like five minutes or less. That's pretty good. I feel like I mean, she t- wants to talk to you. I feel like the, I don't know. Yeah. I feel like I get you on that. It does depend though. Like she could be at work and she's. They all kind of depend. Yeah. It does depend. But like if, if she's hitting you with the 12 hour responses, then you know, like she's kind of not fucking with you that much, mm-hmm. at least at the moment. I or if know. you get the smiley face. But mm. not the emoji. You just get the actual the, mm. the, the oh. colon and the. That was funny. I still sent people those. <laughs> See, sometimes I'm those yo, are some, rude. Yo, those some, are fucking. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes <laughs> I'm literally so lazy that I don't even want to go to the emojis and find it. How can you not get me an emoji? You know the other signs are the specific heart that they send you. Mm-hmm. Mm. Girls don't send you a red heart if they don't love you. Yeah. They'll send you a blue one, maybe a red. I mean, not a red. Sorry, a black. If you get a black, if you that's... get a black heart, <laughs> maybe she's just like an emo chick. Like she liked the black one, the black heart. That's probably the only acceptable case. <laughs> like, an emo chick of the oh fuck yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's the one thing I've noticed too. It's just the heart that you get. Wow, you might even get the yellow one. The yellow one's a good sign. Yeah, but the yellow one's like you won't get the red. The yellow heart one's like the yellow. The blue. I think the blue one. You know? The blue yeah. one is like a friend. Yeah, the blue oh, one's yeah. like a friend. The yellow one's like, we could fuck. But I'm just trying to see where this is going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're not going to talk that often. You're probably not. We, we'll see what happens. Yeah. While the red means like, yeah, we're in this. Like, yeah. there's somebody that I care about. Yeah. Yeah. I've noticed that in text. I believe that. Yeah, I've always, I've sent, yeah. No, it's exactly the same the way, same way. Like, I've, uh, when, I, when I've sent hearts, like, I'll send a blue heart. As a comment on Instagram, but I'm not sending the red one. But you know like, what I mean? Like intimate. For some you have reason. to think about it. You have to think about it. Like <laughs> if you actually think about it and you go to your emojis, yeah. Why are you pressing like you have to think about pressing on the blue heart? Yeah. Or the different colors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? No, I, I consciously think that the, the red one's you would just too much. Pick the yeah. red one because that's just the I don't use heart. I don't use the red one because yeah, <laughs> exactly why. Because I don't want to send the wrong message. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the type of shit I look at. That's too. funny. And it's funny, like, yeah, no, I I'm it's not that you like think it but you're like yeah blue is like friendship and you like, yeah. click on that one and it's blue and like mm-hmm. purple's like you were cool you know like or like it's an emotional kind of thing you know mm-hmm. yeah yellow is like yeah it's like halfway there i sent like, a lot of yellow hearts yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's like just because they're like my friends yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah like yeah, i fuck yeah. with you like i really i like i really fuck with you like yeah. you're cool mm. i'll send you the yellow heart just show like, yeah jamal cares about you he yeah 
He cares about you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't. I never know. I haven't done a blue heart. I don't even send girls emojis that much, though. Like I'm kind of mm, selective. Not an emoji man. Not really. I'm That's not, not empathetic of you. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not I've not been even, using them more just so it doesn't make. Just so I don't sound like a dick. It adds character. Yeah. It adds, I, don't know, I don't know. Back back when back when fucking I used to maybe look up dating advice and shit. And I think emoji culture. Yes, there is an emoji culture. But yeah, no. I agree. It's kind of changed because at, at that time when I was looking up all that shit. Um, they used to say, oh, like if you put too many emojis, you'll look like a pussy or you look too, uh, too like friend zony. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And so they like, keep it straight. No emojis. I think it's changed because emojis are so fucking popular now. Yeah, so Just don't be sending the weird monkey emojis or something like that. It's kind of. Those monkey emojis are kind of okay sometimes, but I don't. Really? I only accept that from I wouldn't send that to yeah, I would never yeah, send that yeah, yeah, yeah. I would never send out a monkey emoji. <laughs> to a girl you're trying to fuck? No, 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 no. no. I would never send out no monkeys, bro. I, no, I'll, bro. I'll, I'll. I'll receive a monkey. But yeah. I'll never like, send like, one like, I don't here. mind it when I get one, but I, I, you'll never see like, me touch that. Like, you know what cringe would be? You'll like, never see a monkey in my recent. <laughs> you know what cringe would be if you said a girl, yo, I think you're cute, and then you put the monkey and you're like this. <laughs> You know how weird that'd be. You're not. You're not getting. You're not getting it if you're doing that. That's a pretty whack one. Yeah. That's like yeah. <laughs> Just as an example, pretty or you or the cat heart eyes. Like <laughs> I will say, what has helped with the the conversation game? I feel like for everybody is the uh, the gifts. Yeah, for sure. The oh the gifts. Yeah, I started using those more. Yeah, I was using those more. The gifts. For a bit. I feel like I, I personally, even when I'm just talking to anybody, really. Mm. The gifts they help me, like they help me just show people mm. what I'm really feeling in that mm-hmm. moment. And, so, and some girls, some girls are they'll see the gift and be like, haha, but they won't send when they send one back, mm. then you know they're they like that shit. Or if they more. start sending you the gifts, yeah, like, yeah. Right. Some there's there's gonna be girls who like the gifts and some who don't care for it, so mm. just send it and see how they reciprocate. We're, I yeah, think. we're gonna do the relationship talks today, <laughs> yeah. I think that's what this dating game I like this because uh, we started off slow, yeah. All the, I feel like all the years stuff is good, but you can only talk about it for so long. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I was already kind of running dry on that one. So. <laughs> but it's okay. We learn. We prosper. Mm. We're coming back with you guys with 34 questions, 36 <laughs> questions. We're going to talk about MSN again. We're going to talk about crushing things. I don't know. We'll, talk, <laughs> we'll figure it out. Welcome to the Lost and Talks podcast, the most lit podcast in 2020. 2020. 20. 2020 vision. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, we're back. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna continue with these conversations. We we really need to get a female on this podcast. There's just too many dicks in the room all the time. Too much factual, time. factual. Um, we do need way. a female guest, so we'll get one. If you are a female and you fuck with our podcast and you live in the Toronto area, maybe hit us hit us in the DMs, yo. Maybe maybe we can oh, yeah. make it happen. Yeah, maybe. Hit the DMs, ma. Maybe it's like a it's like a. Just some up, chance, baby? but maybe. <laughs> Hit us up in the DMs, see what we're saying. Or email us formally. Formally. <laughs> 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 formally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I was going to say, did you guys ever read those uh, like Cosmopolitan shits ever? Did you ever feel that insecure that you actually read stuff? I did. I'm not going to lie. It, like, like dating advice? Dating advice, or even if you're just talking to a girl, like I mean, you mean I've ever Googled how to get a just, girlfriend? Yeah. No, no, like have you ever just Googled <laughs> yes, yes. anything regarding yes. the opposite sex? One hundred percent. And how to interact with them? Probably, yeah, I have, yeah, probably, yeah. Then, actually, yeah. But I don't go to Cosmo; I go to Reddit. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, probably good well, and Reddit's bad. solid. No, Reddit, Reddit can be solid. You might have some good. Yeah, I like the Cosmos it's just because this. you're getting a female's perspective. Yeah, well, on Reddit, there's a lot of females on Reddit, and uh, females will. Uh, Definitely. They'll say their thing. Say their They're shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I it remember, comes to like, I remember used to I used to read like questions like what to ask girls because those are the MSN days. What to yeah, ask yeah. girls? Yeah, like uh, through text and stuff. Yeah, and the MSN yeah. days. That's the that's the one thing with the MSN days where you couldn't get away with shit, and I feel like it helped, but it helped me with my conversation skills. But at the same time, I would have loved to experience what's going on now mm-hmm. because MSN you had to reply mm-hmm. immediately. You know what I mean? You why, why? Sorry, I was on MSN. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, because MSN it was like it's like you log in. Everybody sees you're online. You oh, like I mean? Facebook. Yeah, no, nah, it's not like Facebook. It was like a more exposed Facebook, if you will. So, so you got people on MSN being like, "You're on fucking it's line. Why aren't like you responding being, to me?" It's literally like being in a chat room. Oh, so yeah. So you're there. Okay. Everybody knows you're here. Okay. You're having a conversation with somebody. You're having that conversation in real time. It's not uh, like you could say, "Oh, I'm at work." Mm. Blah blah blah. You're at your computer at mm. home in your fucking basement. Mm-hmm. not doing anything clearly so you had to talk to whoever 
Mm. So I remember, yeah, I used to I used to look up like questions to ask girls and shit like that. Yeah, like how to win her over, or like just Not interesting, even win her over, but like interesting questions. questions to ask to start a conversation. Yeah, just keep the conversation before, going before the conversation's like, "What's up?" Yeah, not and then much. Through that, I actually uh, figured out <laughs> no. that I like I like just going into like if I were to ever just now if I talk to any buddy or any female, for example, um, I go in with the deep questions because I'm like, "Yo, fuck it," like mm. we have to get to know each other. Mm-hmm. For example, even if I'm at work, I get a new job. For example, I'm talking to a female there, mm. we're gonna be working with each other for at least a year, probably. So, let me just get to the shits. You know what I mean? So, so what do you I ask? feel like that does that does help. What do I ask? Mm-hmm. What was one of the ones? It's one of the ones. The context is a girl that you're trying to date, or is it yes just... or no? It can well, it be depends on the... that you're trying to date, or oh, okay. or just a female that you're trying to talk to. I okay. feel like practice, whether or not you're in a relationship with somebody, is good to have. Like, you should be able to talk no, to 100%, yeah. everybody. 100%, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And even though being a guy, mm. we are sometimes, depending on the female, intimidated by them. So you should be able to have a good conversation. I feel like the ones that you're usually intimidated by are the ones you can, especially just go, just risk it. Yo. Mm. Just going with the deep questions like, mm. yo, like, tell me about your family. I used to, I used to be like, yo... Like, yo, like, tell me, like, your life story. Like, I just want to know about your life. Like, what's Damn. what's the worst thing that ever happened to you? Straight to the point yeah. question. Like, let's get to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That helps build that intimacy between you and that person. Very true. And that's the point of those 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 36 questions. And There's it, a lot of questions. A lot that. of the time, I've also, I've noticed that they put up that wall. The, the, so you just, naturally, yes. You, they put up a wall, so they don't <laughs> want to talk about what the worst thing that happened to them was. They won't. But they'll tell you something else. They say they won't know, but they know. They know. There's always some always know. dark, scary thing yeah. that's happened. Every girl I've met has some sort of dark secret about Damn. something. At some point, and Everybody it comes does. Out. Everyone has Everybody a does. Everybody secret. does. Like, yeah. I always find girls having more fucked up shit, though. I don't know why. <laughs> like, huh? They do. Yeah, I don't know why. When it either, but it's... Like, it's yeah. uh, uh, I know why. It's because they're females. Uh oh. And I'm no, 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 no. What do you it's mean by those uh oh? What do you mean by that? It's because they're females. So they live. They live in a world where, if you will, and this is what they're trying to escape. They are seen as victims a lot of the time. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And they're seen as weak when mm. they not necessarily are. Not true. Yeah. So they have a lot of stuff that happens to them because people are taking advantage of them. Okay. Whether it be you know and that's what happens. Yeah. Whether it be other girls or yeah, you other know, girls or worst case, you know, a, a, an older gentleman doing worse, something doing bad, bad, you know bad relationships, bad, bad relationships, stuff like that, sexual experience, whatever it might be. Exactly. There's so um, many. There's so many different things, and I feel yeah. like that's what it is. It's like it's it's. That's I don't think it's part of being a female, which I would never would Hope want not. that to be, but I feel like that's uh, what they have to deal with right now. Hopefully, not in the future. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yo, uh, yeah, MS, I used to do, yeah, on MSN, I used to look up the questions, mm-hmm. um, but when MSN got away from that shit, I do the the whole texting. Mm-hmm. Um, I was a more in-person type of guy too, so like I didn't mind like meeting up, chilling, um, going yeah, that, on, yeah. high school, I was a good, like, I was a good, I was a big walks guy, like, yo, let's go on a walk. That was your date? Yeah, yeah. Or like during like, that was during like date, lunch and shit. But that wasn't a, I never, I've never really asked a girl out on a date. See, really. that that's that's the difference between me and you, I guess. Like I'm, like I said, I'm like traditional kind of date. But it has fucked guy, me up. you know what I mean? Because but I don't say date usually. I'll just say, let's chill, hang out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I drink. never say a date, yeah. I don't say date because the date word, especially with someone new, is like kind of sounds like more pressure. Yeah. A lot of girls... Uh, like, yeah, you just say, yo, you're trying to hang out. A lot like, of girls we, get anxiety. Uh, men too, but got, a lot of girls get anxiety yeah. about, about dates. So if you say date, they might like... Ooh. They might flop. <laughs> you know what I mean? So Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I never... But so, I would do it in the moment. I would try yeah. to do it sometime soon. So it'd be like... So like, what are you saying after school? Like, you want to chill or something? Yeah. What do you mean? Like, let's just fucking chill. Like, Go for a walk. Yeah. <laughs> you know that sexy ass, the little... That quiet ass... You know, fucking. Yeah, you know, let's. You know what I mean? You know, let's fucking just yeah, chill yeah. or something. Let's, just, let's just chill, you know? Let's go out. You do it. <laughs> Come on, mommy. <laughs> Come on, mommy. That Wale voice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Start yeah. spitting poems yeah. and shit, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Your mind is like a room. <laughs> and I just want to feel it. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, yeah, I used to do that. I used to go on. I used to do walks a lot. Or we had like, um, we went to DMCI. I mean Zach, 
Uh, so shops had just been built. Shops at Don Mills had like just been built around that time. It was still coming up. So man, so just take, go to girl, go with girls to like Jacks. Mm. You know what I mean? But like during the day, you know, no nighttime. Maybe you might bring a one, two extra people, but it has to be other people. You know, so it'd be like two girls, two guys, for example, just so that, you know, ease up the pressure. You just go get a Shirley Temple. <laughs> <laughs> No, okay. You get a cream soda. Fuck that Shirley Temple. Because we weren't old enough to drink yet. Oh, okay. So you pull up to Jack's, you have a pop, bro. <laughs> oh, you're that young. I'm drawing oh, on the table. You're talking high school, okay. Yeah, I'm talking high school. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, vanilla yeah, vanilla cherry coke from Jack's. Can Where you we get the cream soda Shirley, in the bottle. You just spike a Shirley Temple. You're playing tic tac toe with the ting. You know? Tic tac toe. Oh, 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 like you get the crayon and the yeah, 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 on the paper. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, playing hangman. Send Hang, nudes. Hangman. Send nudes. Send nudes is the, <laughs> is the message. That's actually funny. <laughs> that's actually funny. You know, but you gotta, you gotta be comedic. Yeah, I would just, I, I would, that's the type of shit I was doing. Do you ever mm. talk about, uh, whatever date or whatever you the first time you ever talk about sex early on, or or you kind of? Oh, uh, with some that? girls, depending on depending on the girl. So that's one of those ones that Kevin was saying. Like some girls, you can kind of gauge. Yeah. What you can and can't talk about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. There's some girls that just give you this that aura. They have that aura where yeah, sex they're is tricky. more open. They're willing to talk about sex. Sex is tricky because if you start talking about it, it might just sound like you might just want to do that. Yeah. So it's hard to... And then, like, you know, it depends on her intentions. She might just be trying to hook up, too. So then she doesn't yeah. care. But otherwise, exactly. if she wants a date, then some girls are turned off by the fact of you just wanting to have sex right away. So I don't know why some girls... Some girls like to make you wait. <laughs> Because they're queens, <laughs> but but I like to. I think that's sometimes bullshit though. Because like thousand percent, yeah. Because sometimes yeah, they they say they want to make you wait and then they don't. <laughs> yeah, some of them. Yeah, some of them. Like, I'm gonna make them wait. Next it's, week you're getting crushed. At yeah, the party. Yeah, at a party in some in so, somebody's parents' bedroom. Like, but there is a there is a there if you start dating or whatever or even you just want to kind of just be a casual dating or thing or hookup thing there definitely is an appropriate amount of time before you probably should have sex unless before it becomes a few uh, hours no 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 like yeah until marriage until <laughs> marriage <laughs> so, so there's that route but the till marriage thing should be uh, that sh- that's that, just whack that should that should be established very early on but again like fuck you know how many people are running the other way if you say, I'm waiting till marriage? I'm not, I would never but, wait till marriage. Which is sad, but like, there's those people who marriage. are doing that. But anyways, marriage. what I was going to say is like, they're definitely like, you, you, like, you should probably be sleeping, you should probably have some sort of sexual intimacy probably by like the third or four, fourth, fifth date. Anything past that starts Can to I get ask, a, a little weird. Can I ask, how do you gain hmm? that sexual intimacy? How do you get there? How do you get there? Um, you don't you have to necessarily speak for yourself, but you can speak for all men. How do you get there? Yeah. How do you? How do I like get to physically a physically or mentally? Like, what do you mean? Like All just of it. spiritually, bro. Spiritually, like, how do you make her feel comfortable? Okay, that's not about making her feel comfortable anyway. How do I? How do I take uh, the steps into one day, hopefully, getting laid? <laughs> Is it the? Because for me, for example. I feel like it's uh, slow touching. Just Not just you're just you're touching from time to. T- I'm gonna touch you, Kevin. It's touching from time to. T- <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. The hugs before you go, a good long one too. Mm. So depending on how she's feeling you, like it could be the first date or it could be the fourth date. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's gonna be somewhere around that time. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you need to be in an environment where it can happen. For the most part, unless yeah. you're risky and you're doing weird shit, but. Hey, Say I'm a plug. It, I'm a public. At man. some point, you're gonna. At <laughs> I'm some a plug, man. <laughs> <laughs> I hey, mean, at some point. So the first sexual encounter, uh, intimate encounter, you're gonna have. You sound a, too much like a, like, like a, you wrote a book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just talk to me. Just talk to me. Encounter. <laughs> <laughs> sexual in, uh, encounter. <laughs> The first, the first thing you're gonna do is okay. Yeah, the first thing you're gonna do is probably kiss her, right? That's probably like the okay. first big move, right? When do you, when have you gone in for the kiss? I always feel like the first date you're kissing. Okay. If you don't kiss the first date, you've already fucked up, because now you're in a weird place. And I feel like that is wrong. Is it? I feel like yes. You if you get if you get the kiss on the first date lit, 
Yeah. But I don't feel like you should really go for it. It's not saying I've always gotten the first kiss. No, no, I know. The da- uh, no, no, ki- no, I know. Kiss on the first kiss on it's the first game. date. But most of the time, it's going to happen for me. And if I, if I didn't do it, I think I fucked up. Either I hesitated or and, – and, and don't believe there, – there's no special moment to do it. You could do it really at any time. Uh, less the, not the first five minutes, but you know what I mean? Like somewhere halfway through, you can probably do it. It doesn't have to be the end. It doesn't have to be – there's no specific time. The end is the traditional way, but you know what I mean? Like you could be in the middle of the date randomly. Uh, that's more spontaneous actually. Can I just – Because at the end I of the saw, date – I saw this happen the other day and I was kind of amazed. Mm. I wasn't amazed, but like again – it's one of those things where I was sitting back. I was on my break, right? And I just went outside. I was chilling because I was working at the keg. So it was hot as fuck. So I went outside. I'm just sitting there and I'm like looking at these two people. They're talking, right? And from the body language, I was like, oh, this girl feels this guy. Like, you know what I mean? And I'm like, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he went in for a kiss. Hmm. So I'm just sitting there and then I hear him laughing at her. He's like, oh, you're like he's like, yo, you're actually fucking hilarious. Right? And I'm like, you okay. fucking liar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, you're actually fucking hilarious. He's like, he's like, honestly, yo, do you mind if I kiss you? And she's like, what? And he just went in. Oh, and I'm okay. Like, you're a real ass nigga, bro. He asked. Yeah, he's like, he's like, do you mind if I kiss you? Know you? But, it, I've never but you know asked. what it was? It was the it was the moment because they're having such good conversation. Mm. She said something that made him laugh. Mm. You know what I mean? So he's like, in the middle of their conversation, he just starts. He went in. They're making out. That's kind of swap. Right Still. in front of me, and Damn. I'm like. That's how you do it, bro. I'm yeah. like, that's I'm like, that's sick. Like, that's what I'm talking Damn. about. Damn, that was not no bad. Way. Yeah, and he bad. asked for the consent too. I, I don't like, know about asking. Gentleman. I don't know about asking. Like, sure, I guess most of the time. But that's what. No, no, no. You have to ask because it catches them off guard. They're like, what the fuck? And by the time you're already up there, they're doing. They're it. like, oh fuck, <laughs> we're yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. And he he did that, and I then think... they kept making out. And then they stopped, they talked, and then he just went in again. And I'm like, shit. <laughs> I'm like, this guy's real, bro. Zach but now Martin. he has the consent while Zach's farting. <laughs> <laughs> he has the consent, and he's just flying in there, just giving her smooching. He's doing her. it on purpose now. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, he was just smooching her. And I'm like, yo, this is sick. Outside yeah. in the cold. Okay. You know what I mean? You know what? The asking thing, yeah. I always thought asking was kind of, I don't know. I've never done it. I've never done it. I just go for it. Damn. That could be taken out of context. Yeah, like, you know, so hard. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've never like asked, like, can I kiss you? But like, I just like I wouldn't ask if I could kiss somebody. For the most part, I've never asked. But I, I think the asking follow. You gotta ask, but not, not even fuck the response. Just follow up with the yeah, with the actual kiss. With the I feel action. what you mean. That, yeah, that's, that's what he did. That's as a, like a like a ice he didn't breaking, care for like her a answer. transition. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. doing it like almost like a. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't care for her answer. It's just like it's yeah. it, it helps so that if you just go in, she might not know what you're doing. But it's just like she you give her a split. You give her a split second to yeah, think about to it. To think. Yeah. You want to because if help? you go like this, she might go like, oh, you know. Yeah. Like, exactly. Yeah. Have has that happened to you guys? Have you guys tried to kiss a girl and she's moving back? Yeah, that happened to me with my girlfriend now. Oh. The first time, and I'm like, yo. <laughs> what do you mean the f- now, now? Like the first time me and my girlfriend now kissed. Oh. She was like, but she was oh, nervous. That, okay, yeah, I know what you mean. This guy, I no, think I don't like have now. Any side bitches, babe. Like, <laughs> no, no, I thought you meant now, like it happened yesterday. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. No, no, like when we when we first started talking and shit. Oh, okay. First time I went in to kiss this girl. Wow. She's she backed up and she's like she's like no. And I'm oh, like, my. what the fuck? <laughs> and, I, and I told her and I'm like nah, like uh, she I'm was like, just shy. I told yeah, she was just shy though. Uh. And I told her I'm like I'm like nah, like I'm like I'm kissing you. Okay. You know, because I'm a real ass, you know? <laughs> I just went in. I went for it. I mm. did it. I remember I, was, I remember we were in the catwalk by, by her house. It was beautiful. And there were kids walking by. <laughs> yeah. And then, I, yeah. Yeah, I did that. And then, and then in the kiss, you know what I did? She was trying to, she was trying to say, she's like, she's like, oh, we should, like, we should stop. She's listening to this now, fucking, like, fucked up. But whatever. She's like, we should stop. And I'm like, nah, B. I took the hands <laughs> up against the fence. <laughs> Crucified she's, her. She's yeah. fucking with it, yo. Yeah. She liked it. That's sick. Damn. Yeah, that's that. You know, that's how you get that splash. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you get that splashing, yo. Dude. That's what I did, yo. Yeah, yeah. But uh um, no, yeah, no. I like I like what that guy did though. The finesse was cool. That was cool. It. That was cool. 
Was he a young young guy? Or? Uh, he's probably like around. He's probably around like your age. Oh, okay, he's not that. Yeah. He's he's not that young. Yeah. I thought you were talking like a teenager. Because like you see like a 15-year-old make that movie, like shit. <laughs> no, yeah, they don't want to be like shit, bro. <laughs> Yo, chill. That's yeah. an advanced, yeah. yeah that's yeah. an advanced. That's, uh, an, advanced. that's an intermediate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's definitely been dates where I've hesitated to kiss and then I didn't. And then I, at the end after, I'm always like, I probably should have. Because now I don't know what she thinks about me. Like, does she think that, like, do I... She might be thinking, oh, maybe he doesn't like me that much. She might mm. be thinking... You might get, yo, you, that, I always feel like if you don't kiss on the first date or, 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 or rel- try to try to or show signs of doing, you might get friend zoned pretty quick. That's what I always think. So you got to show your intentions quicker because girls are quick to friend zone. Remember, man, you got these girls got like 10 dudes they're talking to. Yeah, so they're man. just going to check you off quick if you don't show intentions quick. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's fast. Like, bro, it's fast. Like she, the, the, the time she left that date, she already has two other dudes other talking to her. Other men's talking to her. Right away. How was you your know date? What I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> the guy that's already in the friend zone. Yeah. How's your date? <laughs> He's trying to get fucked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How's your date? So <laughs> that's why. I hope it was a failure. <laughs> yeah. And if you don't even have sex at some point, relatively within a few dates, then you probably, you're at risk to getting friend zoned or just, or just like left on red. Damn. Because <laughs> it's happened to me enough times. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So it's a tough world. The dating world, the dating world now is fucked up. Right? Yeah. 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 But whatever. Yeah. It's tough. You got to just, you got to, you got to adapt with the times, you know? Mm-hmm. That's all you can do. Mm-hmm. Uh, so one of the questions here was, uh, when did you last sing to yourself or to someone? Sing to myself. Yeah. I remember this question. Uh, For me? I I just answered these the other day, so uh, it was to myself, I guess, in the shower. <laughs> like, isn't that everyone's answer? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I probably <laughs> sang today. Did I sing today? I think I sang something today. Yeah. That's been like a freestyle a, today. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I was walking around my house. My yeah. Boxers. That, that's a simple one. I guess. I mean, I mean we're we're creatives. I guess it's, you know, there are people who are a little bit less or more shy. Are gonna do that? Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. I haven't sung to someone else though. For what in your life do you feel most grateful? Okay. Please answer along if you're listening to the podcast. Yeah. My answer. Well, We're listening. <laughs> We're listening to you. My answer is, uh, for me, it was, what do they say? To be alive. That was mine. That's whack. I, it's kind of whack, but it's legit. <laughs> to be alive? Yeah. I'm I know those ones where that. there's those moments where you, you know when you're like, wow, like we're alive, but it's Corny. not all the time. It's facts though. But, yeah. I, I would yeah. say life. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because yeah. Yeah, you know there's moments where you're like, holy fuck, like we're living right now. You know, like, yeah. I was, and you know, I was thinking about this the other day. I was going to, I was going to say this today, so I might as well. I am very grateful for life actually. Yeah. Yeah. Just to be able to experience life yeah, yeah. is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yo, you were like one in fucking four hundred million. Again, yeah. you won the race. Yeah, in terms of <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, if you feel like you've never won anything in your life, the only <laughs> reason why you're here is because you won the race. Your reward is winning. Life. that Yeah, if your reward for winning that race is this, you beat you know? all the other sperm. Yeah, you got here first. That's yeah. Very true. You made it. That's true. Believe in yourself. <laughs> your first W. <laughs> your first dub was life. That's yeah. crazy. It's your first W. <laughs> Shit. And then it's just L's after that. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> most, most, yeah. But like most nuts don't even have the chance to get to the egg because yeah. they're, they're like, mm. it's a jerk off thing. Like, you know what I mean? Think so about like, all the nuts your dad busted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In his lifetime. I'm yeah. not thinking about that. But and how right? many of them even had but a it, chance? Probably Think about went- it. All the nuts he busted in his lifetime compared to, and now we're going to make it smaller, now into women. Mm. <laughs> Not in socks, you know what I mean? <laughs> into women. Yeah. yeah. And you were one of them yeah. that made it out into the, into your, wow. I'm not going to say that for Oh yeah. my God. Yeah, yeah, You were yeah. the one that made it out. <laughs> you Fuck, know what I mean? dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. That is, yeah, you beat all odds. Life. Everyone, everyone, actually, all, all, how many people on earth? Like seven billion of us did that. Yeah. Um, shit. Seven billion winners. And that's it. It could be more. Could be more. You know what I mean? Yeah. But no, yeah, I'm very grateful for life. And, you know, the wins and the double, uh, the, the wins and the losses. Mm-hmm. I appreciate them all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, if you could yeah. change anything about the way you were raised, what would it be? Ooh. Rich. <laughs> the way I was raised, yeah. Um, what did I say? I said, uh, I don't know. My answers were so shit. I said, like, have siblings. Like, I want to raise with, like, more, 
yeah, bigger family, like more siblings and stuff. So I can learn that kind of, I felt like, yeah, being, old, I'm an only child, by the way. And you just grow up differently. Yeah. You know? mm. Yeah. More to, more to yourself, more kind of independent. And then, yeah, there's all those things. Oh yeah. Like you don't know how to share and blah, blah, blah. And you get everything yourself and yeah, cause whatever. I, yeah. <laughs> I feel you. Nobody but yeah, can. siblings would be different. Um, I think it would have been cool to grow up with a different language. I think mm-hmm. that was something I, I was a little bit envious of people. Even though it's a, like, I know why my mom didn't only spoke to us in English. It's like, because, you know, well, what's the point? We, we don't need another language if you're living here. Mm-hmm. Um, and it helped us to, uh, you know, acclimate to the culture. And I'm really ha- happy for that. But it, it would have been cool to have, like, you know, that extra connection to, to, to the culture. Because beyond that, it's just like food. And like, I don't like the idea of going to where my mom's from and not like being able to communicate. But yeah, it is what it is. I feel you. Yeah. <clears throat> Me, even though I don't really fuck with them, but learning more about just extended family. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Extended family in like back home, yeah, Jamaica yeah. or wherever we're from. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, just knowing more about them and being more, not necessarily involved in their lives, but just knowing what's popping. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Being yeah. able to, let's say if I wanted to go there, I would have a place. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Without yeah. it being awkward. That's one of those things that I feel like uh, would have been cool. Um, what do you value most in a friendship? Mm. Value most in a friendship. Uh, what did I do there? Um, holy shit. I forget. Do you guys have one? I might come back, come back to me. <laughs> what I value most in a friendship? Um, that is a good one. There's a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what the most is. Yeah. Yeah. I value yeah. loyalty, obviously. I value... I that's what I said. I said Someone that's like, like that. a ride or die, you know? If we're getting to a scrap, let's all get into the scrap mm-hmm. together. Yeah. Um, yeah, like somebody who who knows to tell you things that would only help you, but then when there's like... When it comes down to something, like you know that they they have your back. Like Yeah, no matter, exactly. No matter yeah. what. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Just some, yeah, I guess... And that's probably what it is. In the, the, in the easiest yeah. word to be loyalty... Yeah. For me, it's will. that too. I know yeah. it's a cliche answer, but yeah, no, it's very true. It was very but like true. a very specific loyalty, it's though. Specific, the, the, I don't, I don't yeah. only have that with the, like you guys. That's and what I mean. Like, like Blurda and then like Teresa and like only a, a handful of people. Like if 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 something like terrible goes wrong, like something really bad happens, you know you have like those people to. That's yeah. You, you like those, those people are people who, like they I won't get be, kidnapped one night and yeah. then people are like, yo, we need. They're not screening your calls. Yeah. You know, they're not like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if shit I get like kidnapped that. and yeah. they say you have one phone call, we need. Yeah. Five K. Yeah. Mm. Then I'd be like, okay, like this is these are the handful of people I could call. Yeah. Mm. You know yeah. what I mean? Possibly. And they'll yeah. somehow contract. Somehow the money. we'll be able to contract. <coughs> the they get the money. Yeah. No, I totally. You know what yeah. I mean? Would. Um, so yeah, in the best sense, I guess yeah, loyalty. Somebody that's are actually a ride or die in the yeah. best sense. They'll they actually look out for what's best for you. They'll tell you, like maybe that's not the greatest decision, whether or not you make it. You know, that's your call. But yeah, they'll let mm. you know what's good. Mm. I think that's pretty much my answer too. It's a very similar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what is your most treasured memory? Treasured memory. Or most or most terrible. You guys can choose. Was it oh it was terrible or treasured? Yeah. Um we should do terrible just as it's more it's intimate? It's more yeah, I think <laughs> I think I did terrible when I did it. Um terrible memory. I just haven't lived enough to probably the worst isn't had yet, the worst is yet to come <laughs> with my life, to yeah. be honest. Um, <clears throat> uh, discovering my mother's breast cancer was pretty bad. Mm-hmm. That was two years ago now. Um, she's fine, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Um, made it through it. But yeah, I think that was within the last decade, that was probably one of the worst news I heard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From that, I can remember. Because anything past 10 years ago, it's hard to remember. So that's kind of where I'm at. Yeah. Mm. You have one, Kevin? Yeah. No, not really. Terrible or treasured? Nothing. Treasured. Nothing yet. This guy's nothing. <laughs> really? I mean, I don't have like a horrible memory. I have no memory. It could even just be an accomplishment. I think accomplishment is one of those questions, though. But yeah, um, I think that is a question. Sure. Well, I'd say as a general thing, the, my my most treasured like I, the fact that we have so many memories of like this basement, for example. Mm. That's something I really treasure every day. Mm. Is the fact that like I have long relationships with so many people you know i feel you 
Because there's so many people who like they've moved through so many schools or they move cities all the time. They're moving apartments all the time. But like to have like I, I really appreciate the consistency and like I've had throughout my life where it's like we could create so many of these. I could see myself in these so many of these different parts of my life with the same people in the same environments. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Mine is weird. It's kind of a it's not terrible. It's one of those it's it's one of those days where I just realized something is the day thing got stabbed at our school mm. uh, i took in because I, when i when i left school and i went on the bus i took in that life was just go, continuing yeah you know what i mean yeah this guy got stabbed at our school there's all this commotion and stuff going on at our school did he live sorry yeah yeah he's fine oh, okay um and there's police and all this shit going on that day and then when i left to go home everything was just peaceful mm-hmm. everywhere else and mm. It was just interesting for me to just take in that, you know, like, that's when I took in life continues to happen, whether or not you're here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was the one day I was like, oh, shit, like, this shit's real. Yeah. Very interesting. That's not, it's like not treasured, but it's not terrible. It's like somewhere in the yeah, middle. Yeah, it's somewhere in the middle. Where it's like you realize that nothing really but matters. But it stood but out like, to me. Yeah. It stood out yeah. to yeah. me. It, was a, it was a, yeah, it was a tragic moment, but you learn something from it yeah so it's yeah it's both for sure wait did man's clap already yeah. yeah oh fuck are we recording yeah we're in this yeah we're back hey what's up folks yeah we're gonna hit you guys with a couple more questions i'll hit you right off the bat with something hard yeah i Probably hope you're not that serious i hope you're learning something about yourself yeah i hope everybody is yo. yeah and this is the type of questions that you have to ask the people that you're trying to get involved with as well mm-hmm. because a lot of you guys are just talking about ball yeah and not actual life. The weather. And then you're confused as to why you just got crushed in a car and he's not talking to you anymore. <laughs> or, or you know, like the girl's not hitting you up anymore because you said some weird shit through mm-hmm. text. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, get, to, get to know the people that you're dealing with romantically or even through a friendship. I'm just learning a lot about the boys right now, you know? Yeah. And what I'm about to learn next is how do you feel about your relationship with your mother? Ooh. Right. That was a question. <laughs> Um, he didn't start it. Me could be better. Mm-hmm. Could be better. Mm-hmm. I have a better relationship with my father. Why is that? I don't know. To be honest, like it's kind of weird. Does anyone? Does everyone have a relation? Well, not everyone has two parents, but if you do, I don't know if everyone has an equal relationship with both. Like, there's always like one so. you kind of strive towards a little more, a little more. There's one that you fuck with a little bit more. I feel like usually, or you and, and at that least just, know that you can go to and yeah, ask the, the yeah. stupid questions or the yeah. But I think that's questions. also just like the balance of having. If you have two, then if it's you like you two. know there's yeah. one who handles one thing and the other yeah. who kind of yeah. handles, this, handles this, the other thing. This question isn't gonna relate to everyone because yeah. some people might not have a mother in their life, or some people. Well, for them, you could probably just say father then. Father, yeah. Yeah, or other way around, yo. Um, but anyways, whoever your your yeah, mother, whoever, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it could be better. It's not, it's not the best, and it could be better, but it's not terrible. I don't have a terrible relationship with my mother. I mean, I live with her, so um, it's okay. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how to go into detail with that. Like, it's not much to. Where does it begin? Hmm? No, I'm just like Where does it begin? <laughs> I mean, I want to get into it too much, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> no, I feel you. How about you, Kevin? Um, yeah, it's good. I, I agree. It could be better. I think. Mm-hmm. I think there could be more communication, but I know that's just me too. Like, yeah, it's, it's hard. It's hard sometimes. I feel like it's that. It's your mom's kind of. If it is, it is that person where you can tell them everything, but then there are the things that you can't tell them. You know, so it's like, mm. uh, yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah. I'd say the same thing with me and my mom. Like, I fuck with her. It's cool from time to time. Yeah. <laughs> she can get fucking annoying. Yeah. Like, say some stupid shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can say that for mine. Well. And like, you're just like, <laughs> what the be. fuck? Like, I thought you were an adult, you know? Yeah. Jeez. But I'm, yeah. I'm dissing right now. <laughs> 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 but it's facts though. You know what I mean? But And that's also one of those realizations that you have when you're yeah. older. Is just like, yo, your parents. Yeah. Your dad was just some guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, your dad is just some guy. Yeah. And your mom is just some lady yeah literally just existing that just so happens to have you yeah you know what i mean but um yeah no my relationship with my mom is not the worst like it could be better i feel like it could be a lot better i feel like in time it'll be a lot better there's, yeah there's a lot of things that i want to do for her that i can't express that's now. how that's how i feel too there's a lot of things where i'm like just wait yeah just and, shut up and wait yeah, yeah all right shut the yeah. fuck up and i wait. know i know what i'm doing but i can't tell you yeah what i'm doing yeah. i know i'm stressing you out yeah you're worried Oh, it smells like weed. Yeah. 
<laughs> you're not gonna be saying that when you're living on an island exactly you know yeah. what I mean Jeez. and shit like that like that's where I'm trying to take shit yeah. you're not gonna be saying that in your new Beamer like these are things that are coming just <laughs> shut the fuck up <laughs> you know what I mean in the best way possible with all yeah. the love in the world shut up Yeah. you know what I mean yeah. Um. but yeah no that's uh, that's a good one yeah um oh I missed I lost my question here one second <clears throat> Uh, any, any like really embarrassing moments in your life? One that stands out to you, like a really embarrassing moment. It might've passed, but something that you might even still to this day think about, like, cause I have those two. You just think about stupid child. Yeah. Shit from your childhood. That you yeah. Did. Yeah. I, like, I, I pissed my pants cringy. in grade two. Like, oh yeah? Yeah. You know, I just think about in that. class? Yeah. True. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Damn. Grade two. Grade two. What it was was there's a there's a girl Pissed, that I had a crush on mm-hmm. doing a presentation, and I felt bad going to the bathroom, but I didn't realize how close. Oh, you're real, eh? Yeah. Oh, that's, real, that's yeah, love. That's yeah. a legit yeah. story. Yeah. yeah, that's love. I didn't but... realize how close it was, on, and then I was like, oh fuck, you know. But uh, yeah, it was it's one of those things. It's so it's one of those things. I didn't even at that age. I'm like, I'm not gonna learn anything from this because I know <laughs> I know why I did it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know why. Oh, that's facts. That's yeah. good. That's a good. So one. it's one of those things where it's like you're embarrassed, but not really. And it's like, yeah, I don't really get it. Like, yeah, I mean, I've thrown up in public. Like, I don't really get embarrassed <laughs> <laughs> anymore. Yeah, yeah, anymore, I don't you know? really get embarrassed <laughs> anymore. Yeah, there's just sometimes where I think about stupid shit that i did as a kid yeah it's more just as a kid stuff yeah i was like yo you're fucking dumb yeah or like yo like this isn't even embarrassing this is just outlandish and wrong like nobody should ever do this or be involved if somebody's doing this tell them to stop but when i was a kid i um i thought the way to approach girls Uh oh (laughs) (laughs) i think i've told ian and zach this i don't know Uh if i told you this but like (laughs) Like literally <laughs> kindergarten, I was like I was already going out for the girls. The kindergarten, like I knew from time I was trying to get these things like daycare. Yeah, at Fleming, you had an older brother like showing you shit. No, I am the oldest brother, but I lived with my older. That's cousin. how that happens. Oh, I live okay. with my older older cousin, and then I don't I don't live with my dad. But when I went to see him, like I'd see how him and his people interacted with girls and shit like that. So I thought that was the way. Yeah, I didn't understand that those people were having sex. <laughs> that those relationships are already built. Mm. You know what I mean? And conversations, you know, stuff's already going on there. Yeah. There's situationships. Um, so when I was in kindergarten, there's this girl that I liked. Um, or was it grade one? I think it was kindergarten. And her name was Nadia or some shit. Sweet little ting. You know? <laughs> Not, Not sound creepy. Back Not in the day, yeah, 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 yeah. when I was her age. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. But um <laughs> Yo, like, literally, I remember one time, like, I was just flirting around with her and shit like that, and I literally, I grabbed her ass. <laughs> oh, my God. I grabbed her ass. I didn't even know what an ass was, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, I grabbed her ass. I just, I, like, grabbed her I slapped it, and I grabbed it. Like, a real ass, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, this is mine. Like, <laughs> and I was like, yo, I look back to this, even now, I'm like, yo, that's so outlandish. Like, yeah. That's fucking crazy. Like, and I'm surprised I never got caught. Nothing. I, I did this on the fucking. I don't playground. know if you remember how she reacted, but like she's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 It was just so fucked <laughs> up, and I think back to it all wild, the bro. time. I'm like, yo, uh, I'm sorry, Nadia. Like, yeah. If you listen to this now, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't know. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I was influenced by the wrong people. Yeah, that's what happens. That's you know what I mean? asked if you had a brother. Yeah, or no, I just and I just thought because no child is thinking about that unless men. they're around it. Yeah. So, like, cause like, for me, like, I just had to figure that shit out on my own. Like, I didn't have yeah. an older brother or whatever to kind of in, influence you in the probably the wrong way too young. But, yeah. Yeah, no. Um, didn't happen to me. I just had to figure it out on my own. <laughs> yeah, I was just growing so, up with man's in Flemo. Like. Yeah. Like, that's how it was. Mm. Yeah. And Flemo's a different place. So, yeah. Yeah. You know? Like the Don Mills. <laughs> Can't think life. of an embarrassing, like, one. I can think of, like, sometimes embarrassing things. But nothing, nothing like one that one moment, defining moment. I even what that was, was embarrassing. I can't think about it. I know I've sometimes I get caught talking to myself. That's by people in public, and that shit kind of weird. You do that all the time. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Like you do that a lot. Yeah. You're a serial talker. To <laughs> yeah. Yourself or... Yeah. <laughs> no, but what it is, and I, again, we've said this before. Like you, you just talk. Like you have a lot. You talk, but you talk what you're thinking mm. a lot of the time. Mm. So you'll just be thinking, 
but you're talking out loud mm. and you don't notice it. Sometimes I'm just saying, loud. and it sounds like I'm talking to you about something random. Cause it's like, yeah. Cause we're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, how did this conversation start? <laughs> like, like that? It's weird. You have to be around Ian to understand, but he talks out loud a lot. Mm. And you don't know because sometimes he'll be talking to you and then he'll switch up to talking about talking through his thoughts. But he just says it out loud and you're like, what? It's <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, so what's going on? fucking true. These or two he'll know. just trail off into something and just mutter. These like, two what know. What the fuck is going yeah, on? Yeah, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's the point where I think you guys, are you talking to me? <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I just don't say shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just sit in silence until I'm addressed. <laughs> It's happened sometimes I'm because I'm legitimately talking to you. Or he's a man to talk to you with your headphones on. Mm. <laughs> That's one of my biggest pet peeves, you know? Yeah, sometimes I'd be like, yo, did you hear what I said? And then and then, and then you're like, wait, what? <laughs> exactly. I'm like, I was not listening to you at all. Yeah. But meanwhile, I didn't have music playing. I heard Ian talking the whole time. <laughs> you're I fucked. didn't know who he's talking to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I didn't yeah. address it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I could only hear some of what he was saying because I was yeah. just like, I don't know if he's talking to me or not, yeah. Zach, or if he's talking out loud. You know? Yeah, I get it. That's jokes. That's all like I'm crazy. Um, <laughs> when was the last time you cried in front of another person? <sighs> Shit. Or even by yourself, if you if it's been that long. My girlfriend. That was the last time. Shit, yo. <laughs> Why are you making sweet love? <laughs> <laughs> you cried you cried no, in missionary I don't cry during I don't cry during sex I've never done that um, dudes though? who do that is interesting um, but <clears throat> talk to us about it was just that. a fight like whatever oh okay I, yeah it was just yeah, like a fight that, and emotions. I was like drunk too oh okay so like it, that doesn't help yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's why well. I feel you I feel you that was it how about you Kevin hmm? in front of people probably I don't know I can't remember the last time Probably a movie theater, but it wouldn't have been in front of people, though. Facts. Maybe like, yeah, I don't know. Um, for me, in front of people. What movie? <laughs> yeah, what Last movie? Last year? I cried at Endgame. And, Damn. Uh, and really Toy did? Story 4, yeah. The Toy Story sketch. Yeah. They're, well, I, I, have, I, know, I always know going into a Toy Story will get <laughs> the me. The Toy like, Story plays at you because you're just like, oh, yeah. it's my childhood. Yeah. You forget every time that you're yeah. going to cry. At yeah. This, so. Every time, yeah. <laughs> I think the, everyone started crying at the end of like the third one. I almost, the oh, one. I almost cried at the new Star Wars that just came out. Almost did. Oh, yeah, I, didn't. Yeah. I didn't. When Chewie died, bro. Oh, I spoiled it. Spoiler. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, can we bleep that part? Out? Just, just bleep out Chewie. Yeah. <laughs> when I, when, when someone might have died. Yeah. This guy ruined it. Yeah. I spoiled it. I didn't know that happened. Yeah, he, d- he doesn't. He doesn't. Oh, yeah, is that died. spoiling too? Anyways. They fake it. No, shut up. <laughs> Shut up. You gotta believe all this up. <laughs> um, when did I last cry in front of somebody? Well, last time I cried in front of somebody, I, it was probably my girlfriend too. It was either her or like a big group of people. Yeah. Which can go to one of my most embarrassing points ever or moments was I was went to my mom's like work. Uh, They're like doing some work event and they are like doing kickball or if you want to soccer, baseball. Mm. Um, and... I was younger. I can't remember how old I was. I was maybe like, I was maybe like, was I in high school? I was maybe in high school. Um, and uh, we were just playing, playing. And then this one guy who was pitching the ball, when he saw me come up, he's like, hey, yo, <laughs> Mr. Kingston. <laughs> He called me fucking Sean Kingston. <laughs> and everybody started fucking dying. Like Kevin. <laughs> no, because I remember this story. And okay, I, yeah. okay, okay. You remember that, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was so fucking pissed, bro. Mm. I like, I was like literally shaking with anger. I, w- I walked up to the man. I was about to fucking scrap. My mom was like, no, <laughs> chill. Like, this is a work. This is a little work event. And I was like crying. I was like so angry. I started crying. Damn. And every started, everyone was just laughing at me. Is big, were you crying because everyone's laughing at you? Or? I was crying just because everybody was just fucking laughing at yeah. me. Yeah. What was this? Put you I on the spot. Remember. You put you on the it spot. It might have been high school or just before high school. Damn. I think it was before because... Was it? I think he Sean Kingston was popping in like grade eight, I think. He was popping around those yeah. times. Yeah. And it was when he was... Because I remember when he told me that story. It was like when he was popping. Or like yeah. When, and the guy said that to me? That's because that's why I heard so much is because he was... 
it was peak Sean Kingston. Peak Sean Kingston. Yeah. No one wants to be peak Sean yeah. Kingston <laughs> other than Sean Kingston. Yeah. Like beautiful girls. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> like, it was that. Uh, so that's another embarrassing moment, actually, uh, that slipped away. And then the last time I just cried. That's actually no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I didn't cry that time. Um, last time I cried, even just by myself, <laughs> was when X died. Mm. Say word, really? Yeah, when X Damn. died, I cried by Damn. myself, and I cried by myself like like two days later. Damn, mm. I didn't cry, but I because I just took it in and it mm. just hit me. And it, it's because I had, I had been following X since SoundCloud days, early yeah. early SoundCloud days, and I was always like, this guy's gonna be a fucking star. Yeah, I'm like, this guy's gonna be a fucking icon. I remember even one time, um, back in the in the Nick Lim days, uh, Nicky Lim, shout out to him. Uh, I remember even asking him, I'm like, yo, you know who? Uh, X X X is and he's like he's like no and I was like oh yeah he's gonna be a fucking icon and then he died mm. and I was like fucking hurt yeah so that was the last time I cried yeah he wasn't and that was just cause it was more it wasn't even just cause of the past and all that it was just cause he was just young yeah you know what I, I mean? feel that I feel that he was just young and then he just died in a shitty way so that was one his, his death cried. was like like any death at that age is unexpected. Yeah, his was like a little different for some reason. He was murdered though. That's why yeah, was exactly. He wild. was just murdered. Like if he was like he wasn't a druggie or maybe he was, but like he, if I know being murdered is like next level. Yeah, like, I wasn't. It was just everything that. surrounding what was going on yeah. in his life, all the jail people, what people thought about him. You, almost, you just felt bad. Every, yeah, I just felt out, bad because like, it was just like he never got he never had the opportunity to show people mm. he could change. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and that's what hurt me the most. I yeah. guess. And now it's, yeah, and now he's still labeled. And I was high, too. He's still labeled for what he was. Yeah. <laughs> that shit always brings up the emotions. Yeah. That death was like, I was like in a weird place that day for a bit. I was like, just not expecting it. But yeah. Yeah. It hit me like two days later. I was just sitting on my uncle's couch and I had just hit my vape because I was, I, was, I, was, I was having a headache. And then, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I was watching YouTube and then a YouTube compilation. <laughs> of like celebrities reacting to his death came up mm. and i just started bawling bro really yeah i was just crying like deep ones you know those, <laughs> those holy deep ones. yeah i was just crying on my couch Damn. it's not in the middle of the afternoon it. like yeah. 2 p.m and like yeah his death was like the most impactful to me out of all like the the soundcloud rappers that have been dying in the last few years and it's funny like i would have been W- probably way more sad about Juice World passing, but at that point when he died recently, I was so used to it. Now at that mm-hmm. point, I was so used to it mm-hmm. of like SoundCloud rappers dying. It's almost like okay, who's next? Yeah, I feel unfortunately, right. who's next? You know what I mean? So when he died, I feel the like Juice World if one he I died years ago before that, I would have been worse. But now I'm almost used to it, which is pretty messed up. But. You're desensitized. You know? uh, I'm desensitized almost to SoundCloud rappers passing away from drugs or whatever. Yeah. So Juice World, yeah, and Juice World was another massive artist that died. I was on. Well, other than that, I've cried <clears throat> at like some shows and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably yeah. shows. I went to a movie. I haven't cried at a movie in a little while. The last movie I cried at was uh, the last um, Batman movie. Oh the, yeah, uh, Christopher Nolan one though. Yeah, I cried during that one. I just was going through a lot of emotions at the time. Star Wars always gets me, and th- those movies from childhood. That yeah. Green Mile hit me when I was a kid. That was probably the first movie. Where I cried, other than uh, other than Pokemon, mm. huh? Click, 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 made you bro. Cry? Why is that movie so sad? I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> Something about that movie is really sad. I know what happens at the end, but the new, uh, Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, yeah. I legit was like, yo, I was telling a couple of my buddies, I'm like, yo, I don't know why, but I, like, click made me fucking cry. They're like, you too. <laughs> Say a word. Oh, click is a low key one, eh? Like I don't remember yeah. what happens in the end. Having clicked, only watched it once. Hearing, yeah. I only literally I watched the movie once. Yeah. People talking about people like people talking about the, how they cried at the end of Click is like very common. I don't know something about that comedy. <laughs> it's a comedy, it's not even a but it's not even a. Com- I feel like it's more. I I, I kind of understand it's a reflection it. Reflection on life because you yeah. fast forwarding. Yeah. yeah. Life, yeah. And you realize that when you when you skip and you only go to the good parts, you miss out on moments that you don't think that be important to you yeah like, exactly kids growing up blah blah yeah you know what I mean because you didn't want to have to like do all that shit they really nailed that movie like yeah. that that was that's one of his best movies in my yeah. opinion yeah I cried during Green Mile and then when they killed the dude and then Pokemon the first Pokemon 2000 
Which, which one? Friend, which one was it What's called? the first one? I don't remember. It was it was Mew and Mewtwo. Yeah, and Mew and Mewtwo. <clears throat> when they're slapping, when all the Pokemon clones are slapping each other. Yeah. That shit hit me, bro. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Fucking Pikachu just slapping the shit out of Pikachu. <laughs> I was like, fuck. <laughs> um, last question, boys. Another just deep one. Of all the people in your family or life, whose death would, would hit you the hardest? Jeez. It's got to be my father, for sure. Jeez, yeah. There's no other person. I like the way you said that. My father. My father, yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's deep, bro. The way, just the way he said that is deep. Like, you yeah. have to explain that. Yeah. My father. It would just have to be my father. There's no, my dad. There's no other Jeez. way. There's no other person. Like, my mom, too, second to that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I had to pick one person. And yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. For me, it would be my grandma. Mm. I know for a fact wow. my grandma dies. I'm going to go crazy. Mm. You guys aren't going to see me for a while. Really? Yeah. Definitely. Shit. Definitely. My oh. grandma dies. We're all going to lose someone eventually. So. I know. And I'm We're not all going to lose everyone. To. Or no, we're going to be lost. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, we're too. all gonna be lost. That too, but lost uh, in talks. I'm, I'm in grateful in enough talks. to yeah. have all my grandparents alive. Actually, believe it or not. Yes, yeah, same. So I am all too. of them, and yeah, they're the passing is is, is upon me. <laughs> actually, I'm not not all of them. I don't on my dad's side. I don't have my grandfather. I believe. Uh, okay. Other than that, yeah. I never met the guy anyway, so it's not. Oh, it. it's okay. one of those, you know. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Um, but you know, you know, he's oh, he's on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, my my grandma. That's that'd be devastating. Just because, like, she's just, you know she's your grandma. That's your second mom, if you will. She you know she finesses you the candy. Mm-hmm. You know when you're bad, she takes care you of clearly you. Clearly, were closer as a child growing up. I don't even know if we were closer, but she just oh. it. That's one of is, and I wouldn't even say this to about my mom. My mother loves me unconditionally, but you're like your grandma. Or my grandma, at least, she's like, that's what I would say is even more unconditional love. Like, again, like I've had so much like fucked up shit going on and she's always just taking care of me. Or if I needed money, she just send me money without me even knowing, you know, the auto deposit shit. Mm-hmm. I would just see it. Oh, my oh fuck. Or um, she's just if she's at my house, she's, she's just always cleaning, taking care of shit. Great stuff. Great story. I have a great story. I can't tell on the podcast sure. about her. It's really hilarious. I might have told you guys. Maybe. Yeah. About the, we, might have to, we might have to bleep this out. <laughs> but the fleshlight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, shit's yeah. crazy. <laughs> oh. Well, we'll talk you? about it. I think you did. Yeah. You did. We'll talk about off. We'll talk about it after. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but how about you, Kevin? Yeah, fresh. tune into our new podcast, Off the Pod. Off the Pod. <laughs> yeah. Lost and Off the Pod. No. <laughs> we should have an OnlyFans off, off the Pod. Yeah, we'll have the OnlyFans <laughs> Off the Pod. I was going to say, it should be a Patri- <laughs> right. Patreon thing or something. Yeah, where we talk about off the, the real pod. exclusive. <laughs> you have to be a Patreon stuff. Yeah. Where the sensitive people cannot go. Basically. Well, yeah, because if you're paying for it, then don't. Yeah. Then yeah. don't come if you're going to be, yeah. A lot of yeah. things will be said there. Yeah. We'll work on that this year. Uh, but yeah, how about you, Kevin? Yeah, probably my mom. I don't know. Yeah? Yeah, anyone in my family, really. Anybody. Like, it's weird. Yeah, I feel like it'd be equal for everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like for you, it'd be yeah. equal for anybody yeah. as well. Because, like, you guys, pretty close-knit. You know what I mean? Everybody's kind of close. Yeah. Everybody's doing their thing at the same time. Everyone's grown. Yeah. Doing their thing. So, yeah. Yeah. Damn. Well, I've learned a lot about you guys today. <laughs> now we have to stare at each other for four minutes. <laughs> We'll do that on off the pod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I like that idea earlier when he was talking about it. But I'm like, us sitting here in silence yeah. would be fucking awkward. Yeah. Just put some music. Zach awkward. just farting. Yeah. Zach just farts. <laughs> that would break it. Be fucking worse. Oh, man. We need a fart counter on this one. <laughs> yeah, people. Uh, those were um, some questions. What is this shit called? 36 questions to bring you closer together. Mm-hmm. They're meant for couples, but we're doing it for friends yeah yeah and listeners yeah as well yeah uh, you're not gonna fall in love but like you get you just learn something about each other yeah but yeah these are the, like yeah. this is an example of the type of questions i'd go to if i'm talking to yeah a female yeah friend or future partner you know what i mean um just just to get past the bullshit especially if i know we are going to be in a place where we're gonna have to talk mm-hmm. we might as well cut all the break in the ice let's mm. Let's not break the ice. Let's yeah. Let's start a fire. I was gonna ask how how do you uh how do you like s- like break the how do you segue into a like a personal question? I do it right off the bat. 
Do you just straight ask it? Straight ask. You don't feel awkward about that? Uh, you can't feel awkward about it because you're going to create an awkward situation asking the question anyways. Mm. So you just got to get it out there. You got to kind of just gauge. How do you just say, so how's your relationship with your mother? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, You start off later. Yeah, yeah that's a little extreme. But The yeah. thing I've realized is not, it's never the question. It's always the, the confidence that the people pose. Exactly. With and how you approach it. Like I, I approach it with. Because there are people that I've met where they've gotten so direct to me and it's not like you get it's so nice because you don't you don't you're not like whoa what the fuck like how are you jumping right into yeah. it the way that they present it you're just like yeah okay yeah let's get into let's it let's get into it yeah, and that's like that happened it's to me about the way you do it when yeah. i first got Fair hired enough. at one yeah. of my jobs the guy that i worked with for two years hmm. and i saw all the time and is one of my closest friends right now from a job that i don't usually have i don't have like work friends um the first day i met him after the quick yo what's your name blah 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 where have you worked before uh, was so tell me so tell me you have a girl <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> and that's not that deep mm-hmm. wow. but it's one of those things where I just don't tell people right off the bat you yeah. know what I mean like, I'm the type of person where if you ask me I'll tell you yeah mm. yeah. you know what I mean so he's like yeah you got a girl yo how long you guys have been together I was like fuck yo chill like yeah you're really surprised. Good he's surprised like, and he told me, that. and he literally said the same shit. Must he's like, he's like, like you're gonna, you. he's like, we're gonna be working with each other. So he's like, True. might as well get to it, bro. <laughs> and I was like, facts. Well, there, then right there, you know, you were hired. <laughs> I was like, I was like, facts, yo. I guess you're hired. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, no. Uh, I like. Yeah, it's just about approaching it with confidence, um, and kind of, and me since I can read people a lot of the time, I can kind of gauge what type of question to ask before Mm -hmm. we really get to the shits Mm -hmm. one of my um old friendships was like that that's how it started like i was just friends i was just friends with this girl at work i wasn't really friends with her we kind of just talked sometimes and then um one day i just asked her i'm like yo what are you saying after work and she's like nothing why and i'm like i'm trying to chill like what are you saying so then we ended up just hanging out we went to jack's and then um Right when we sat down at the table, I told, I asked her, because I could gauge from what I could see from her at work and the type of person that she was, I could tell there was a lot to her, mm-hmm. and but she was, seemed open enough to talk about it. So I was able to say, okay, let's, we can actually just get to the shits. So I, was, I asked her straight up, I'm like, okay, so like, what, what was like the worst thing that ever happened to you as a child? And then she told me all oh, about her mother's passing, and I was like, I didn't even know that mm. her mother passed. There you go. And she was adopted and this and that. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Oh. Big, long story. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And that's how you learn. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. Shouts out to her wherever she is now. 100%. Yeah, you're going to trust uh, You're gonna trust someone more. And yeah, more exactly. More, yeah, you open up someone. 100% you're going to become better friends right away. Yeah. Or uh, <clears throat> more than friends. Yeah. Yeah. If you mm-hmm. wish it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. Oh! Playing with our hearts. <sighs> All right, anyways, we're probably going to just wrap up the podcast around here right now. Really abrupt, but that's how we're treating 2020. We get in, we get out. Just like a bank heist. Shit. All right, that's kind of corny, but... Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. 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 Anyways, um, work on those relationships, folks. I'd, I just want you all to have very healthy relationships uh, for the duration of 2020 mm-hmm. and for the next decade and your lifetime. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And the only way we can do that is by asking the the real questions. Yeah. Uh, also, key thing we're 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 probably gonna get into this one day, but before you uh, you know get into a deep long relationship, or maybe not even that, if you're trying to take the next steps into your relationship, whether that be engagement, marriage, whatever, find out more about your partner before you do that, because uh, there's a lot of people being surprised out here that your partner doesn't want to have kids, or they don't Shit. plan on switching their shitty job, or. Yeah, you know they want to plan a trip to Alaska. Yeah, all year, these all these key shit. questions and life decisions. Yeah, you gotta and stuff it out. like that. Like uh, I've really? seen it happen a lot now, where it's where someone will be like, they don't want to have kids, and the other partner is like, okay, I'll just convince them later on. Yeah, but like that's kind of a thing it. that like, especially depending on how old you are. Like if it's like they're eighteen and they're like, I don't want to have kids. Okay, yeah, you can be like, out oh, maybe that. Time. But if they're like. Late, late 20s, early 30s, they've given this enough thought where they probably aren't going to change their mind anytime soon, you yeah. know? So your partner, like, and, you, and you, woman or gentleman, you cannot always necessarily change your partner. Yeah. they are people at the end of the fucking day. And what they believe in and what they want to do with their bodies is their choice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, just take that in. I, the, the whole kids one is a big one, though. 
Yeah. For both men and women. Um, especially in the day and age where we do have a lot of beautiful, powerful, strong women that are boss babes, you know, and just want to be CEOs, you know, and they mm-hmm. don't want to settle down and blah, blah, blah. No. Um, yeah. So just make sure you're asking the real questions because whether it's your friend, a possible partner, future partner, uh, family, anybody, you just got to get to the, the nitty gritty sometimes yeah. and really get down to what their character is. Somebody from is. work. Somebody from work. Yeah. Um, just figure out what their character is because that's going to really save some time on some disappointment in the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, this is going out to 2020. It's going out to all the bad hoes, all the classy ones, ladies. I should say classy ladies. Also all the, uh, the, the real G's and the corny gentlemen mm-hmm. across the world mm-hmm. and everybody in between. Because there's a lot of people out here. And someone's phone is vibrating. Yeah. It is. It is mine. This I'm sorry. is the Lost in Talks <laughs> podcast. That's probably Ian's girlfriend. Probably. The most lit podcast in 2020. And it will be. Oh, big news coming up. Big things. I don't think we told you yet. Mm. We might have. Big Tommy, things. Tommy might have. But not really big things. But things coming into play. Mm. Um, but you guys will see soon. Ian's confused. Like, what the fuck? I was like, I thought you were gonna say it. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I'm actually don't know what we he's talking. No, we got. I think little... I know what he's talking about, but I forget. No, nah, little things like possibly nothing solidified. Oh, I thought now. you meant like one big piece of news. Oh no. Oh, like a little. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> They'll see. Got it. It's gonna be a big year for the pod. It's gonna be the big, a big year for all of us. Mm-hmm. I already see it. So, um, yeah. Thank you for listening once again. This is the first pod of 2020. We look forward to doing this every week um, for the rest of the year. And uh, possibly even more in uh, future years when we have more time to. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for listening and watching. And watching. Yes. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>